And I wasn't BCU? stopped. The, the BCU is how yeah, you the just BCU. said. The Brat Cinematic, the Brat Cinematic Universe. The Brat, I hate it because you're not wrong. There are several Brat <laughs> What do you mean it's real? <laughs> it's very real. <laughs> it's real. It's there's super so real. many Brats. Like, it shows and movies and, like, there's so many Brats Okay, things. but, like, legitimately speaking, they missed a huge opportunity to get involved with the MonsterVerse, with Universal's MonsterVerse. Imagine a Godzilla Bratz doll. That's all I'm saying. I can't. It's, it'd be too thin. Isn't that Some of them are so high? big, though. Oh, yeah, there's They're Monsters like the High. It's a Monster... small child. Who owns... Monsters High is, like, if Bratz and Barbie, like, had a, a baby. I'm I'm picturing just Godzilla, but wearing mascara. <laughs> <laughs> With, like, the overly purple and glittery exactly. mascara. Exactly. Nothing else has changed. It's, Transparency it's their set feet at ninety-five and their lips. percent. Those always freaked me out, and their weird heads. Their Betty. They Boo did heads. have Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> they <laughs> had yeah, like, the, <laughs> long, the long painted nails. They had they had Kingdom Hearts feet, weird voluptuous lips, and then They're like girls with Betty attitude. Boop heads. No nose no. with a Z. Man, no no is, nose at all. No this, noses this are allowed. This is, a, no, no. this is a long con to try and just fucking cushion the idea that I'm going to be streaming that fucking Bratz game. Yeah, well, <laughs> you need to be more prepared, all right? No, 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 I, no We're not no, making no, this I, up, Zito. This is all real. <laughs> okay, I, I just want you to know it's all going over my head, so it'll be even better when I actually stream it. See, I'm just trying to find a Bratz game of my own to torture myself with. I told you, just go on Itch.io. There's plenty of shit posts there. But how many brats are there, Cito? How many brats are there? I, where's I the, where's fucking, the brats.io game? I, I of... Garen the fuck to you. There is a brats adjacent game somewhere on itch.io. Brats adjacent? Can we never say the brats word brats adjacent, adjacent again? Speaking, speaking of shit posts, hello everybody. Welcome back to the Unexpectables. <laughs> Woo! Oh, da -da -da. It's here. Da -da -da. We're back. We're here for episode two zero. Yeah, that's so funny. Yeah. Two zero. We are now officially one tenth of the way through our last catalog of, of campaign videos. Uh, that's a sobering thought. Indeed. You guys are level two. I gotta be here for 180 more of these things. Yeah. This is what you signed up for, Bucko. I hope you're ready. Damn. Buckle up, Buckaroo. <laughs> Yeehaw! Are you in Texas? Don't you do the yeehaws? Oh my god, do let's do the yeehaw. <laughs> I do, do a little yeehaw, yeehaw every now and again. Do I do the yeehaws, eh? Oh, heck there, bud. You ride the moose into battle with you and go the yeehaws, you know? Hey, yeehaw, forget about it. I actually do kind of wish we had moose down here. I feel like Texas... No, you don't. No! You don't want. They're no! megafauna no! and they're scary. No. I, I feel like it would be a safer place if we had moose. No! No! Mark! I will peak my audio. Yeah, what you just said, I think I would feel safer if we had moose in our area, is a, the most moron of oxymorons I think I've heard in my entire life. I, Monty, have you ever been? You put the moron. No, but I can envision it. So you don't it. understand. I would, Mark, I've been like to many parts of rural something? Texas where there are scorpions. I would rather have rural, I'd rather have urban scorpions than moose. I wouldn't. Urban no, scorpions? Prefer, they prefer, show up with their wrap and their baggy pants? No, thank you. Yeah, are they just, like, camouflaged? Moose are just, like, like the reason why I would, and this is, like, a legitimate reason, is why moose would not be good in Texas. Number one, you guys just obviously don't have the environment for them. But number no, two, all those people in their big trucks are going to, like, get crushed by them because they're the oh, perfect you don't height think to that fall still through. Happens? Oh, yeah. oh, we yeah. have, we have oh, mule deer. Monty, 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 that just happens when it rains down here. Yeah, we have mule deer. We, like, you want to add moose to that cocktail of fun? I sure. mean, it'll give something the hunt. It'll give something the the hunters to do and actually have a fair chance. Also, to be fair, moose don't just spring onto the freeway in front of your vehicle like deer do. You'd see a moose in the distance and you'd see nope. down. They camouflage yeah. and they yeah. are the perfect height to fall through your windshield. So to fall oh, through man, disagree your on that one real what hard. Do you mean fall through? How do you know how tall moose are? What do you mean fall through your windshield? They it's are literally the moose. perfect No, they're literally the perfect height where if you were to hit them with a car or a truck, they fall through the wind the windshield in a way that would crush and kill you. That's what makes them so dangerous on roads. I, I mean that's that's Final also true of cows. Final destination to buy a moose. Oh no. I I, I cannot explain to you, Mark, windshields. how tall they are it's there it's not tall they are 
They're really tall, but they're the yes. perfect, like, their legs are the perfect position to be, like, right in a windshield. It's insane. Like, that's how most people die when they hit a moose. Anyway, I'm just saying, speaking, Connor, speaking we have to deal this, with the people, so I'd rather have the moose. That's all I'm saying. Speaking of legs being in the perfect position, Gaijin Goomba, where can we find you? <laughs> Uh, apparently with my head between my knees, kissing my ass goodbye, apparently. <laughs> oh, you can find me over twitch.tv slash Goomba every Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, I've been a busy little bee. Uh, I've been making plenty of video. The last one, oh, I'll make this very fast. I did a video on Oni Thunder God's Tale, which, um, it's a, it's a Netflix quote-unquote original done by Tonko House. The director has apparently been following my work for a couple of years. Oh. <laughs> I was very spooked by that in a very good way. And um, he he said publicly, I wish your video was required viewing for once uh, people were done watching it. And I'm like, that was so oh. cool to see. <laughs> That's a compliment. Oh, wow. That was wow. so cool oh, to yeah. see. It's so cool. Uh, the algorithm still hates me, but that's either here or there. Um... I'm waiting for Dark Tide to come out because I'll be playing the crap out of that. Uh, a lot of people are playing Sonic. I will not be playing that because everybody's playing that, and I have no nostalgia for Sonic. Um, <clears throat> I might be I might be doing a build stream. There are lots of really cool things that people have have gifted that I only put together. No, because that <laughs> would literally be the head and like some pipe cleaner arm. I don't want to imagine the resin trying to put that thing together, Mark. <laughs> it would be so brittle. Just make him like Gumby. It's fine. But the hands are big, the feet are big. Okay. Dude, classic Sonic is literally just three circles. Uh, yeah. yeah. He is a snowman. So anyway, uh, I'm doing that. Uh, this Sunday, though, I don't know if you've ever heard of him. There's a YouTuber named Pancreas No Work. Don't worry, it's not a funny story. Um, he's a relatively big um, Warhammer YouTuber. I'm working with him on talking about how the Tau are actually not horrible wee bait. You all have been lied to. You've all been listening to the wrong propaganda. Uh, I'm, and I'm having a hell of a lot of fun with it with him. He's got an amazing baritone voice. You're definitely going to want to check it out. Uh, and then it's going to be back probably to another Witch Samurai. I've got choices between um, Usagi Ojimbo, um, Yamato Man from Mega Man 6, who is now called Japan Man, and that's the stupidest shit ever. Uh, I've got options, so I'm still doing my weeb crap, doing build streams, and yeah, check me out everywhere. We missed Gaijin. you, Gaijin. Ga Gaijin. I missed yeah. you. What do you mean text-to-speech isn't an accurate portrayal of more accurate information? <laughs> Here's the funny thing, though. Farsight Enclave? Yeah, they're weeby shit. Okay, I'm good. All right. Mark Allen Jr., when you're not drinking water, where can they find you? That was that me, actually. Me. That was me, Connor. You How can dare. Find me, uh. You can find me being thrown under a bus that I'm driving. <laughs> <laughs> at Twitter.com, at Mark Allen Jr., here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming. And you can follow the adventures of my fat sleepy cat bunny on Instagram at Chonk for Life. If you had the joy of catching One Piece Film Red in theaters, the English dub over the weekend, you may have heard me. I got to provide some additional voice work for apparently the top billing movie in the uh, domestic US this past nice. week. So that's kind of crazy. Um, also, uh, a fun little show for those uh, who didn't catch me advertising it uh, while we were on break, uh, a show called Blue Lock. It's uh, anime soccer. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, the animation is incredible. I get to play Kuon in that show. Uh, so check that out. Ep new episodes every Saturday. Um, I am on a uh, mental health mandated break from streaming uh, for the uh, next couple of weeks. Uh, I won't get into the details. Just a lot of personal stuff going on. Uh, so probably no streams for a little bit. Um, but Sonic I will 06 let you guys was that know. bad, huh? What's that? <sighs> Sonic 06 was that bad. I'm sorry. No, I, I actually I really want to finish it too. But it's just oh, I thought other you things. It. No, we, we didn't do the final story. We finished, ah. I think we still have to finish Silver's story and then we got to do the final story. Um, but uh, I will definitely uh, post on Twitter if it hasn't burned itself to the ground yet, uh, <laughs> when streams will be coming back. But also I'll update everybody here on these little fancy update things. So uh, appreciate everybody's patience and understanding uh, during this time. Uh, it's, it's more difficult than I'm letting on, but uh, we'll it's be back as soon break. as we can. Mm -hmm. That's it. 
All right. Speaking of overtaking Dwayne Johnson in the box office, Zito, where can they find you? What are you up to? What in the fuck? Hi, I'm... <laughs> I I fucked around and found out last night with my chat that when I give them a fucking... When I give them something to rally behind, they rally behind it in the first 30 minutes of the fucking stream. So now I have to play Bratz. Flaunt... Well, I'm sorry. Hold on. I have to say it correctly. Bratz TM. Flaunt your fashion. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yes, I unfortunately it's it very important I get that correct because uh Bratz TM flaunt your fashion, there is no capitalization <laughs> in your fashion. So that 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 was very important. Checks in the mail, uh, Zeta. Yeah, oh you know. Th thank you brought to you by the good people at Bratz Flaunt Your Fashion. Oh fuck, Bra Bratz TM Flaunt Your Fashion. There, there you go. go. Yeah, you gotta, Don't you gotta forget the trademark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trademarks They'll come for your knees. <laughs> the, the the I I have to now figure out who these characters are, fuck's sake. Uh, <laughs> you can find that stream at some point. Probably not Friday, but at some point, that will be a stream. Uh, a monster making of my own doing, which is fine by me. Uh, beyond that, I... Voice acting, bout, doing all kinds of things art-related, homebrew writing, it's, it's all in the works. That that I I have nothing to show for it outside of just go watch the Bratz TM bought your fashion stream I guess. <laughs> we're gonna test TV you afterwards Zito. to know. It hasn't even started. Is. Yeah, you got, we're gonna. That's gonna determine who you are as a person is who your mm -hmm. favorite Bratz is. I'm, I'm sorry, you were the one who told me that you had the secret knowledge. To <laughs> I didn't, listen, I don't have all the secret knowledge. I just have some, and I don't want it. But you have some. I'm burning. <laughs> <laughs> to have some is to be I'm known to the broken. old ones, Monty. Be careful. I know. <laughs> That's me. Oh. I tried to think of a segue, but I, I I got nothing. Monty, where can they find you? Oh, thanks. <laughs> Great segue. <laughs> flaunt uh, your promotion. I will flaunt my. <laughs> I missed you. Monty T. All right. Uh, wow. So there's a lot on, on my docket. I'll try to be as, as quick as possible. Uh, my streams have been switched around. My days off are now Sunday. I'm no longer streaming on Sundays. I've also abandoned Majora's Mask. I'm incredibly sorry for those who really, really enjoyed Majora's Mask. I was actively avoiding playing the game because I was not having a lot of fun. Uh, so things are going to be switched around. Um, nothing too intensive. Uh, Thursday is still going to be Dungeon of the Mad Mage. If you haven't checked that out yet, I highly recommend it. Uh, they're on a question mark floor. Um, they just left the fifth floor. We don't know where they are now. Um, so if you are interested in seeing Dungeon the Mad Mage, it is a very fantastic time. I have all the episodes on my YouTube channel, which is Monty Blue as well. Uh, so if you want to check that out, definitely check it out. It's, it's traditional like, uh, like Dungeon Crawl Forgotten Realms D&D. Uh, Mondays are going to be uh, Mario Kart uh, until such time as I have all the resources to begin Mass Effect. Uh, I will be, yeah, I'm gonna be joined by Arkolf and Mr. Bosco himself. Uh, I know Bosco's some dad knowledge. Bosco's gonna join you? That's crazy. I know, insane. I I know some, some knowledge of Mass Effect. I've tried playing it before and did, could not get through it, but um, I'm gonna be joined by two lore experts and fans in the form of Bosco and Arkolf, and we're gonna be doing that on Mondays, I think at two o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Just make sure you embrace eternity, Monty. I don't know. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna do my diddly dang darndest to be the best shepherd I can be. <laughs> um, additionally, it's kind of in the works right now. Question mark. Uh, potentially something else on Mondays as well. It's probably gonna be a double stream day, so that's gonna be like a whole day of streaming for me. Um, but I can't announce anything because nothing's been confirmed yet. But I have plans to do uh, something at night on Mondays as well. Uh, but beyond that, check out my YouTube. Check out my Twitter. Uh, watch this and also yeah i'm doing jazz hands so you can't see it that's it flaunt i felt it i flaunted my stuff great I yeah created a meme. back to you connor all right speaking of having reach but not flexibility bosco where can they find you and what are you up to uh you can find me at ed bosco via on both instagram and twitter right here on twitch.tv slash ed bosco excellent and they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. I also have uh, some 5th edition homebrew content 
uh, on uh, the DM's Guild. Uh, I am no longer working on the Treasure Hunter Conclave for the Ranger, because I found out it's already been made, and a lot of the ideas that I had for it were on there. So I'm like, shit, I don't want to plagiarize anything. So I'm making an entirely different Ranger subclass, uh, and that'll be, yeah, working for the ground up. Is it the Power Ranger subclass? Maybe. I'll have to find Sentai out. Sentai Warrior. Gotta call it Probate for that one. Probate. Probate ah. knows. That's his forbidden knowledge, is his, his ah. Sentai knowledge. Not really mm. forbidden, though. No. Did you guys, did you guys I was going to say highly publicized and televised knowledge. What's what was that, Tito? I said, did you guys know that Brad's TM flaunt your fashion is 6.36 gigabytes? <laughs> <laughs> it, has, oh. it has a total score aggregate of mostly positive out of 20 out of 23 people on Steam. Yeah. Wow. It's a wow. great game, Zito. You're gonna you might be playing wow, no. the best game ever on your stream I, soon. I, I fucking... Wow, I, I could just be playing the best... Are you going to become a brat streamer, Zito? You better. God. You I'll bring my not. curling Connor, iron over. Please, we'll do your hair. Please line. continue. Not, I would like to play D&D &D tonight. Spiritual pressure that is welling in me right now, guy. <laughs> I, I fucking curse you. <laughs> I'm not making a Brad Sona. Fuck you, chat. Do it. Do it. I can't believe Zito's gonna become the world's first B-tuber. I'm B-tuber. You're here right now. I'm a Sonic oh fan, and when I say uh, any positive I give to the fucking game, people are just gonna go, oh, that's copium, bro. I don't fucking want to have that shit happen to me over a fucking, like, Barbie and Jason fucking fashion game. I think, I think if anyone ever asked me I've what one, one point of... If, if anyone ever asks me what one point of psychic damage is, it's literally someone saying the words no, brat no, Sona no, out no, loud. No, no, no. You wanna, you wanna uh -huh. know what fucking psychic damage feels like? My only saving grace to keep me sane out of this is that I know what the fucking Spice Girls PS1 game played like, so I yeah. have a point of idea of where I'm I mean, going with this. Listen, you can't well, compare the Brats and the Spice Girls. Like, I would love to keep talking well, about this, but we do I'm need to get started. I'm taking psychic damage from not talking about our sponsor, Die Hard Dice. Oh, oh, Die Hard Dice. oh, Die Hard Dice, how I've missed you. I get to roll you again. Bosco have got oh. to have all the fun, but now it's my turn. Oh, shake That's right. Die Hard Dice is your one-stop shop for dice and dice accessories. And if you head on over to dieharddice.com, you can use the code UNEXPECTABLES. Save 10% on your order. Also, you may notice a, a few changes to our, our, our repertoire. Uh, over the last couple of days, for no reason at all, uh, we've launched our Tumblr. Uh, that's right. Now you can get uh, the latest news and updates uh, on tumblr.com slash the unexpectables official uh so go on check out our blog give us a follow uh we'll have if regular have... updates there it'll probably be no different than our twitter it's just another space for us to reach out to our fans in different sort of social media hemispheres i'm not allowed on tumblr we're and on another note, uh, huge thank you to Haya Mike, who is our editor yes, now for our YouTube that's shorts. That's sick. YouTube yeah. shorts. They're, our third one went a... live earlier today. Yeah. And they're very good. They're very good. So if you want to, you know, if you want to show your friends kind of what they're missing with us, you can show them the, the YouTube shorts and maybe maybe they'll be interested. But they are just and, fun. And send some as love well. to Haya Mike, too, because he's doing yeah. a good job. He's awesome. He's doing a fantastic job. Yeah. All right, Connor, you have 13 minutes to go through bits and subs. Oh, God. All right. We're starting hyper late tonight. I would uh, say, like, I mean, or maybe, like, yeah. I'm just going to get to it. Just Iggy go. Hidokage, thank you for the 32 months. Mikan Pachi, thank you for the 100 bits. Mikan Pachi, thank you for the additional 100 bits. Mikan Pachi, thank you for the additional 100 bits. Arctic Otter, thank you for the nine months. Archmago's Dragon, thank you for the uh, 15 months at tier two. Miss Tweedums, thank you for the 32 months. 
Antelleris, thank you for the 19 months of Prime. Theropod Art, thank you for the 32 months. Timator, thank you for the 29 months of Prime. Protoss103, thank you for the 32 months. Ebon Sky, thank you for the 32 months. Protoss103, thank you for the 20 months. Henry or Skeleton, thank you for the 200 bits. Uh, One Sweet Girl, thank you for the 21 bits. Archmajos Dragon, thank you for gifting five subs to the community. An Acceptable Name, thank you for the 31 months. Gamma Leo, thank you for the 32 months. Mikan Pachi, thank you for the seven months. The Holy Carp, thank you for the 15 months. Sergeant Tucker, thank you for the 100 bits. Dice Ruler, thank you for the 50 bits. Uh, Rone One Flu, thank you for the 30 months. The Dang Master, thank you for the 13 months. Random Man, thank you for the 32 months. Robobomb 897, thank you for the five bits. Drago Soon, thank you for the 121 bits. Cup of Squid, thank you for the 26 months of Prime. Print Equation, thank you for the 28 months. Destro Mega Mob, thank you for the 100, or for the uh, 10 months, rather. Uh, Lunar the Dragon, thank you for the 18 months. Time to see how we handle the dead underwater. Uh, Ox Factor, thank you for the 24 months of Prime. Uh, Turius33, thank you for the nine months. Alpha Rabbit, thank you for the 400 bits. Fooly Cooly9000, thank you for the eight months. Bubba Bob, thank you for the 140, or no, thank you for the uh, 25 months. Shadow Flare, thank you for the 31 months. Shahalem Froggy's Mom, thank you for the 32 months. Poppet Fan, thank you for the 31 months. Greasy X Spoon, thank you for the 31 months. Muffin Mage, thank you for the 22 yeah. months. Venmaru Kauros Corwin, thank you for the 18 months. Mr. Snacks, thank you for the 17 months. Emerald Bandit, thank you for the 26 months. Draco Choji, thank you for the 32 months. Kale Ward, thank you for the 100 bits. Tommy Toon, thank you for the 100 bits. Wedward, thank you for the 24 months. Morthrandor, thank you for the 100 bits. Callum Draws, thank you for the 50 bits. Discount GM, thank you for the 6 months. Corin Solist, thank you for the 23 months. Disco Tech Priest, thank you for the 500 bits. Friendship Optional, thank you for the 29 months. Zib Zib Yub Zveal, thank you for the 100 bits. The Narcacuga Tamer, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Never Stop Smiling, thank you for the 18 months. JSAR, 1975, thank you for the 100 bits. Blackfoot Ferret, thank you for the elite bits. Gorn Z55, thank you for the 100 bits. Super Blue Hedgehog, thank you for the uh, 10 months. Renfield88, thank you for the 32 months. Uh, Gray Sky Gamer, thank you for the 1,500 bits. Oh. Harmless NPC, thank you for the 32 months. Robomom, thank you for the 100 bits. Sergeant Tucker, thank you for the 100 bits. Lorian Ross, thank you for the 13 months. That Skelebro, thank you for the 45 bits. Tau Set, thank you for the 5 months. Venmaro Kauros Corwin, thank you for the 100 bits. Morthrandor, thank you for the 100 bits. Zen Lita, thank you for the 100 bits. K Macamon, thank you for the 27 months of Prime. Tau Set, thank you for the 100 bits. <laughs> Wells234, thank you for the 20 months. Glork Snack, Eater of Children, thank you for the 1,050 <laughs> bits. Oh. Uh, Andor the Insane, thank you for the 28 months. A Step and Razor, thank you for the 14 months. Mikan Pachi, thank you for the 100 bits. Pseudonym Mick Fake Name, thank you for the 29 months. King Night Owl, thank you for the 100 bits. Z Man Stardust, thank you for the 32 months. J Sar, thank you for the 100 bits. Raw Sodium, thank you for the 100 bits. One Sweet Girl, thank you for the 11 or the 100 bits. Pixel Belladonna, thank you for the 17 months. TY2BP, thank you for the 22 bits. The Goblet of Fun Making, thank you for the 31 months. Solar Misfit, thank you for the 10 months of Prime. Shinichi Kid, thank you for the 21 bits. Magic Ninjago, thank you for the 24 months. Morthrandor, thank you for the bit. And Commander Solus, thank you for the 32 months. You actually went really fast. I actually did need a little bit of time, but oh. I can I can improvise well, the last part. It's totally fine. It's like a go. sentence I have left. We're good to go. All right. Gosh, guys, it's been some time. Welcome back. You guys ready to jump oh, back it's into... It's been too long. You guys ready to jump back into the Unexpectables? Real, real oh, quick, I guess. I, there's someone I, on my on my following on on Twitch that's playing Brad's Flaunt Your Fashion. <laughs> God damn it, it's spreading. Yes, Mark. Uh, I lost the joke. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> oh, also, do 
the, the, the volume for the intro video. Has that been adjusted? Uh, was that an issue? I did, was not aware of that. Didn't we fix that last time? I think we fixed it last time. I turned it down, I believe. We'll find out. <laughs> well, oh prepare my. your eardrums. For... We're going to do it live. Uh, prepare your eardrums, chat. Come. Crumb. We are back. Was that loud for you, chat? <laughs> we'll never know. They'll tell us in the YouTube comments. <laughs> I'm sure. Oh boy, oh, will they? they? Oh boy, do they ever like, tell us? Yeah. Bye, chat. <laughs> All right. So, head. when last we left our adventures, Iskan Seat Lolly, Otho Valentinius, Kai Valentinius, Milo Brightbeam, and Gaius Agni. The party was successful in collecting the Orb of Necrecta from the wreckage of the Hesper's Wake. After unmooring their ship and taking back to the sea, the party came to a frightening revelation. The Orb of Necrecta's immediate power became known to the party. After doing a deep water search and finding a horde of zombies lumbering on the ocean's bottom, the party sent word to Rebu via their sending stone, requesting he warn Oslamir Harland of the potential incursion following behind their ship. After days of expedited travel, the party then saw, coasting over the horizon, a large vessel bearing the signage of Brutus Valentinius, Otho and Kai's father. So. All of you now see as this reasonably sized vessel kind of comes over the shore. Uh, compared to your immediate sailing vessel, it is significantly larger. It is not a galleon ship, nor is it a flagship. Uh, but from a distance, you do see that it does uh, sport uh, cannon holes and cannon uh, ballista on top, large sails, and flies the flag of Brutus Valentinius. <sighs> Are we able to tell from this distance... If it uh, look, uh, I mean, maybe we don't have the experience. If it looks like they are moving into like an attacking position or anything, um, I will say without the right background and also proficiency in sea vehicles, it's hard to tell. Fair enough. Um, but as you kind of are thinking that, uh, Winona kind of steps forward and goes, Pete, and Pete kind of looks towards you, Milo, and goes, uh, you're going to have to take the helm. Do you mind? I hope it's not too much. Oh, oh all right. I, I, I'll give him my best. It, I'm like probably a third the size of this wheel. You you have to hold on to like the lower part. Like that's how you steer this thing. And he goes, just keep her straight. It should be fine. He kind of comes off the deck and runs over and begins to climb up the crow's nest. And you see when Nona hands him what appears to be like a, a bundle of some kind. And he kind of takes it under his arm and begins to scramble up. And I would say all of you, since, you know, it's been a while since we've been back, everybody group perception check for me, please. Let's yeah, buddy. 
13. Number okay. 13. <laughs> Otho, my boy, let's see what you've got. <clears throat> Perception. Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh no. That one. Ah. Oh well. Uh, Seventeen for me. Eleven. Uh, Kai. Uh, whatever you're doing, you are doing it. Uh, Gaius. <laughs> I have no. I, you're gonna have to come up with something, my my there friend. Is, uh, yo, are you, are you seeing the size of this seagull right now? Holy fuck! <laughs> <clears throat> What'd you say about my mom, you little shit? Eskan, uh, Otho, and Milo, uh, you all see from the top, like the crow's nest of the Brutus ship. You do begin to see colors flag, like being kind of flashed almost. Um, almost a means of communication. Uh, Otho, you recognize this, this is a means of communication between vessels. Uh, Winona kind of strides up next to uh, you, Otho, kind of crossing her arms. She goes, They're a scouting vessel. They're trying to flag us down. Did we all hear that? They're telling us that they're a scouting vessel, and... Oh, well, I have good news and bad news. She looks towards all of you. If that's just a scouting vessel, I don't know if I want to know the bad news. Well, the good news is your message definitely got delivered. The bad news is they're asking if we're the ones with the cargo. The concerning cargo. <clears throat> well, uh, gentlemen, I, I think the cat's out of the bag. Well, I guess the question is, what happens if we say yes? Well, they might go back and, or have better means of communication to the land. I mean, that's a benefit. I guess my one concern is if we get detained and we can't keep going. I don't Winona think detain us. Winona looks at you, Milo, and without breaking on contact, goes, I would love to see them try. I almost they want will. to insight that. <laughs> Go ahead, for fun. Okay, for funsies, let's go. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, 24 is the <laughs> Connor, can I ask for one soundboard thing? The, the, like, the duh sound effect, you know, the one? The duh sound effect? You know, the, it's like the string quartet going duh. Oh, oh the ultra mean... instinct string. Yeah, there you go. Uh, there you go. Milo. Yeah. You got a little bit of like a oh, kind of scared sort of energy from... <laughs> That's all you get. This is why I don't like use that. <laughs> For the podcast viewers, Connor played a fart noise. So, I you know, use your imagination. Out. Oh, they heard. Uh, but, Milo, you get like a brief moment of just like, you know... She's into intimidation it. for a brief intent. moment. Yeah, strong killing intent is the, the actor. She's back. Oh. Uh, she turns to you all and goes, well, we need to tell them something. The longer we wait, the more suspicious we become. It's not like they'll try to take it away from us. It's our... Like a... we're, we're here on Oslomir Harland's behalf, and you're escorting us. And it might be mm -hmm. more dangerous if they do take it. All right, I guess we just flag them down, have them board, and do just, what they need to do. Or just uh, say yes. We yeah, just say we're... yes. I don't think there's any yes. means to board. There's no reason to be... Subterfuge uh, is not a word. Um... <laughs> she turns up towards the, the crows as it goes, Pete, tell them yes and that we don't intend to anchor anywhere until we hit shoreline. And Pete goes, Absolutely, I don't mind. He begins to like do like a bunch of flag. like he, It's like a dance almost, like he's showing all these flags up top. And then a moment passes, and you can see across the water the flags of Brutus's ship kind of flag back. And Winona kind of sighs at you goes, they want to know if they want them to escort us. That's not a bad idea. I feel like it's kind of pointless, but... Escort us to where? Back to shore, because we're heading north, back to Martorello. Well, I, I think that... 
only thing about all that is that um if i've if we end up fishing something more than just some kind of zombie arm, it, it'd be good to have that kind of militaristic backup. I guess. That's my only thought. What do you think, Otho? Uh, I think... It might be a bit unnecessary for what we're trying to do. We just need to get back to shore as fast as possible. I agree. Besides, we're going to be outpacing them at some point, so it doesn't really matter. Pete? How? Yeah, sorry, go ahead, I, I, was, I was just going to say, how's Otho looking right now? Um... He's been just staring at that flag. Mm. All right. Winona looks up and calls up, Pete, let them know I'm aboard. We have no need for escort and that they can continue their mission. And Pete kind of goes, of course, and begins once again to like, it, you can almost hear like the salsa music as he does like the flags and flashes <laughs> them. <laughs> it's like a fucking, uh, Elite Beat Agents fucking song playing. Oh in, my up god, there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. He watches a few more, uh, you know, flags on their side flash, and then you watch as they begin to coast from where you've come from, like kind of heading southward. Uh, and Polite P kind of makes his way down and says, Okay, all right. Well, they said they're going to continue on. So um, let's keep, let's keep <clears throat> going, everybody. Oh, uh, right. Can, can someone help me with the helm? I'm on my way. Sorry, apologies. And Plight P kind of runs over and takes it. All right. Although, you watch as, as they as they sail away from the scouting vessel. He's just going to continue watching until it's out of sight. Roll a history check for me, Otho. Do I have advantage on this? Yeah. I'm fine either way. You can yeah, say no. I think no. just a straight shot for this one. Fair enough. <laughs> Still very one. good. That's a 23. 23. The vessel that is the scouting vessel is not a Martyrolian ship. Hmm. It is... Oh, well, I guess that makes sense, actually. Yeah, as you look at it, you don't quite recognize the make of it. You think it's possibly from another country, you're not sure. Uh, but it looks like a repurposed, seized vessel. It does not share the same sort of wood or craft that you're used to. Hmm. Yeah, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. All right. So as you guys head up northward, night comes. You guys get a long rest in, if that is relevant for you. And I would like three d20 rolls, please, from somebody. I just... I I just panicked really hard because I, I saw that my maximum health was 15, and I'm like, where'd all my health go? Oh, right, I'm level two. You're level You're two. Level two. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome um, back. Monty, if it, if, it mat if it matters at all, I, I would love to fish to get rations. Sure, go for it. Give it a shot. Well, do, do, the, do the three first, because it, it may be choppy. I'll get us started. <laughs> Yes, all Two, over Two, five, and nine. Nice. Two, five, and nine. It is a beautiful sunny day, which is fantastic for you, Milo. Yeah. Unfortunately, right. there's no wind, but you do have Winona, so that's not an issue. And there is no rain. All right, here goes that tackle. <laughs> 23. Hey, 23. that's the number of the day. Effective. Okay, okay, good news is it's not a zombie yard. Uh, you fish up what appears to be some sort of, like, oh, man, it's, it's like a brightly blue colored fish with a, like, it almost reminds you of, uh, Gus Brun's tipper bottom, but blue colored. <laughs> and, oh, ag tracks. and aggressively tropical in color. I think you just pulled with up a sunfish. Is it, like, the same color as him? Or, I mean, same size it's, as him, or no? It's 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 smaller. It's the same color as Eastcan, surprisingly. Oh, oh, oh no! I look at it. I look at Eastcan. Look at Eastcan. Oh, 
I, I got something. Can can someone give me a hand here? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll give you a hand. Hooray! Bring Wrangling in the boy. Oh, I still want to punch this one. Oh, you make it. I guess not. Mm, <laughs> I guess not. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. That's such a vexing question. I'll have to think about this with. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Uh, don't, I don't, whatever. <laughs> E-scan, uh -huh. as you're helping Milo load this fish in, you get a solid chop to the tail from Gaius, seeing as how you and the fish are almost identical in hue and color. <laughs> well, first of all, that's racist. But second of all, <laughs> ow! Now, now, you know what, let's, let's, but, sorry. I, I, I guess I'm not a morning person. Uh, it's okay. Just kind of nursing the Doesn't sore spot back. on his tail. All right, well, I'll get this to the kitchen and see what we can do. Uh, no one okay. caught that joke. No one caught that joke, huh? <laughs> what I did didn't. You say? I didn't hear it. I said it grows back, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, I straight up did not hear that. No. Uh, he'll kind of squint at you, and then he'll <laughs> take his hurt tail to the other side of the boat without answering. <laughs> Oh. As you guys, you guys enjoyed some breakfast morning grilled, whatever the hell this fish is. Eastcan fish. How the dare you? fish. How dare you? <laughs> Instead You've of like whatever we food made and made it like awful. the, the lump head smoker <laughs> fish or whatever most the fish The bottle seat lolly. Yeah, there you go. Oh, Come on. Good. No. <laughs> no. Outstanding. <laughs> As you guys make your way, you begin to see coasting over the horizon about probably like, I want to say early evening, like 4 p.m. You begin to see land kind of framing the horizon and the large port city Mortorallo coming about. And as you approach, Winona also kind of steps next to you and goes, well, I believe I owe you a map, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm? You do? I have a map of Martorallo. The oh. land part. Y yeah. Then we'll have to stop at my ship. Uh, oh, I thought... I thought you meant you, you had it with you. No. Oh. Sorry. You are really eager for this, huh? Uh, it's hard to explain. I've I've never been this far south before, and I've been trying to find a map since we crossed the border, and I haven't been able to find any, so... I, you haven't bought a map from a map shop in any of the towns up until Martorallo? Well, no. Most of them didn't have any, or if they did, they were really expensive. Well, this one will be three, because I don't have any use for it. And oh. she kind of turns. She bids barking orders at her crewmates. And eventually, you do see that you are docked way well offshore. Uh, Winona casts fly on herself and eventually disappears. And there's sort of, like, a moment of pause where, especially Pete and, like, the Minotaur and the other guy and Red Jesse are keeping an eye on where the chain has been dropped the anchor just like weapons ready pointing mm -hmm. crossbows down just kind of on edge oh, but keeping an eye up. eventually Winona returns and you can see in her hand just like architect student on a cram day like just <laughs> rolls of paper and she walks over to UE scan and she just dumps it all on the floor uh, he will like almost immediately start to <clears throat> scramble them up uh, and he'll uh, start taking some of his old maps, rolling them into groups and stuffing them into uh, like a tube that he has on his side to free up another tube so he can roll these ones all together and put them in the tube to keep them uh, weather safe and sealed so that he can look mm -hmm. at them later. Uh, as you kind of collect them all, noticeably one is actually a map. The rest of the papers are actually map charting paper. That like is blank. blank. That is blank, yeah. Okay. So you can add 
uh, two small sheets of map paper and one large sheet of waterproof map paper. I, I got the image of e of Iska and just picking them up off the deck like a hungry, hungry hippo. Just bly, 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 bly. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Winona kind of looks towards all you and goes, So I suppose you're leaving now. Well, we kind of have to. I'd, li I'd love to stay. It's just, you know. No, I'm glad you're going. I mean, this has been just... I I look at her sad. <laughs> Don't look at me with those eyes. Couldn't be the big old eye. She kind of looks down at you a little bit incredulously, Milo. You notice that polite Pete kind of comes up behind her and gives her like a little gentle, like a gentle little nudge for her. She kind of stumbles a little bit and she kind of looks down and goes, It's been nice. I mean, it, it was it was nice to make a new friend, and it's always sad when we have to leave. I we never agreed on the friend thing, first of all, and second of all. <sighs> Listen, if you're ever back in Martorello and you need to charter a boat, just let us know. He was a big old grin. Don't smile at me like that. Stop it. <laughs> Still doing it. <laughs> hey, uh, just think of it like the sky looking for the ocean. She kind of softens at that, and she turns and goes, Yeah. The sky looking at the ocean. It's then that you hear sounds on the side of the ship. And there's a certain moment of panic for everybody, but then you notice as everyone kind of looks over the side, you hear a voice down below, a familiar voice of a dragonborn going, Anyone need a ride? Uh, looks at everyone. Time to get oh. going. Yeah. Me, then. Um, does Kai still have the orb? Just so we have an inventory on that, I think. I, think I believe so, yes. That. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's get going. And as you guys, these things can't swim. As you load up into the boat, Winona kind of leans over the banister, and Polite Pete waves politely, you know, as he does. <laughs> as you guys all climb into the boat, Winona kind of like doesn't wave, but just sort of an acknowledging look. She catches your eye, Otho, and she kind of gives you just a nod, you know, a sort of acknowledgement. She kind of gives all of you a little bit of like a, you know, farewell sort of stare. And then you see her kind of huff and then turn around and leave. Amazing. As you get in the boat, the dragonborn there, she kind of takes the, the oars and she goes, well, you're going to be coming back to a nice and clear dock. And she kind of begins to push you forward. Uh, I wonder what that could be. Land girls all up in arms. Apparently something about an incursion potentially going to happen. Imagine we all side eye each other really hard. Or yeah. travel fast. Reason, do we have any reason not to tell her? Uh, maybe not. Uh, probably mm, not be good to panic. The better, maybe? Yeah, probably not to panic. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's... <clears throat> uh, I, uh, there goes my phone. No. I wouldn't be terribly worried about it. The just uh, preventative measures, you could say. Yeah, it's not the first time. Though I will say, interestingly enough, I had a couple people asking when you'd come back to shore, guard specifically. I don't have to be lying it around to the you know the darker tides now, do I? I don't think so. No. Good. There's three handsome strapping men asking for you, so uh, be sure to give them my regards. And she begins to paddle you guys forward across the water. Milo's legs just kind of like habitually kicking a, a bit impatiently this entire time. Iskan is, of course, lying flat <clears throat> on the ground of the boat. <laughs> <laughs> the big boat was fine, but he remembers the small boat. Oh. Don't get bonked, buddy. <laughs> as bonked a little down here. 
as the little rowboat kind of finds itself at the dock, sure enough, immediately striding up in not like the nicest armor you've seen, but clearly guards, like stationed guards, uh, three men kind of make their way up. And is, as it is said, currently in the, the lapping waters of the dock district, you see that the many smaller kind of like, you know, networky kind of docks are cleared out. The big main docks seem to still have traffic on them, but it is the smaller you know, smaller dots for much smaller vessels that seem to have nobody on them currently, except for the odd seagull or pelican. Mm. Just above game really quick, because it's been a month, what was our mm. initial plan in terms of expeditious retreat? Get I think wagon. we, yeah, <laughs> find Rebu and then cheese it. Yeah, book it. Okay. Mm. And we're, we, we've confirmed that Rebu's still here. I didn't. I, I think he said that he was going to stick around for a little while. Yeah, yeah I, I spoke to, to him. Okay. You you called him to to you know warn. That's uh, right. That's right. That's right. That's Oslemir right. Harland. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. And as you all are, you know, kind of make your way off the rowboat one by one, I imagine. Mm -hmm. uh, the three guards uh, kind of step forward, and the main guard kind of salutes to you and goes. Hello, I am uh, Corporal Dale. I'm here to collect you on behalf of Ozemir Harland, and um, he kind of looks and looks and looks towards you, Otho, your lady companion. Wait. Is she there? Yes. I've been informed that she is very frantic upon the return of one Otho Valentinius. That is you, correct? Yes. Over it, though, though. Good. It, is there any way to clarify whom he is speaking of? Other than just directly asking, which would be suspect. I don't have an answer for you. I'm very sorry. Okay. Well, I don't want to ask who, because that would... We shall escort you forthwith. Follow me, please. Come and on. as you begin to walk, you take about five steps, and then you begin to hear bells ringing. Alarm bells across the docks, and immediately the three guards around you kind of spin around on their heels, pull out their weapons and crossbows, and go, I'm afraid that's going to have to wait. I think that they are here. And I need everyone to roll initiative, please. Oh, oh who is they? What did he cock? Uh, crossbow. Oh, okay. It's kind of a quick <laughs> a gun. gun. <laughs> he cocks his mace. The 12 yeah, millimeter roll. crossbow. All right, here we go. Two! That's, that's that's that cleric uh, initiative. You keep saying that, Monty, but it's literally just zero. Natural I have... twenty. Here I go for a total of twenty. Oh, that's gonna be an eight. Oh, we got battle music. We do have battle music, and not only do we have battle music, we have a battle map. We have oh, a map. Shit. Oh crap! Oh my god, I can't believe we're fighting zombies in Costa del Sol. I get that reference. I do as well. Alrighty. I'm a scared. Okay, guards did really well. Alrighty, so we have East Scan with a natural 20. Hey, hey. Woo. We have Kai with a 19. Have your guards who have joined you in this battle. And then we have Otho. Gaius. <laughs> the enemies, but they're going to have a top of the turn order action because they have revealed themselves. Shit. And Milo. <laughs> All right. So as you guys begin to depart and take a few steps with Dale, you begin to hear shouts and bells going off. As kind of down the dock, climbing up the side of the dock, a 
completely water bloated corpse begins to crawl up the side, making its way onto land. Across on the other side, you see another one kind of bringing itself up off the dock, kind of climbing notable shaggy kind of like old chewed up linen shirts. And lastly, behind you, Otho, a more fresher corpse climbs up the side. Star of the turn order, Eastcan, it is now your turn. Uh, we've been on this dock before, right? Yeah, this is the dock you used to get to and from uh, Winona's ship before. Would I remember which way uh, to Oslomir's place? Is it south or north? Uh, I'd be directly south. Okay. So knowing that that's the route we need to go, uh, Iskan will hold his hand out towards that Zambo, and I'm going to use Ice Kanifi. Okay, is it indiscriminate about the bounce effect? Uh, it's within five feet, uh, so he's by himself. Oh, that one. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, that's a 19 to hit. Absolutely hits. <laughs> For one piercing damage and nine cold damage. Not bad. So it's ten damage total. You Doesn't shoot you out your saving hand. Throw first. Does that have to make a? Oh yeah, dexterity. Yeah, save dex throw. save right. to deny the cold damage. Please don't make the save. So yeah, bad. no, that's that's a two. That is a fair. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's swimming. <laughs> yeah, to be fair. He takes ten points of ice damage as he climbs up and kind of stands at his full height immediately. You strike out with the ice knife, it gores him in the center, and the ice kind of freezes the water around his core, leaving him kind of frosty. Let's make a break for it! And I'll... What? No! Stay together! Dale calls out. Uh, then I won't move, fucking Dale. <laughs> I guess that's my turn. All right, then it's your turn. Kai, it is now your turn. Uh, Connor, you are making take... breathing noise in your microphone. I'm going to move there and take the dodge action. You got it. You run it back into a boat and you take the dodge action. Alrighty, that brings us around to the guard's turn. Let's see. This guard, Dale is going to kind of be between you and the enemies just for now. Uh, and he's going to turn and go... Take them out! It's just a small incursion this time. Go! Be wary of ghouls! You watch oh. as the men all just pull out weapons and they begin to unload. Uh, this guard charges ahead. Also, sorry, I hit my microphone with my headphones. I was wondering who that was. You good? I'm good, yeah. I just accidentally smacked it. I tried to make this as expedited as possible. <laughs> This one carves into the zombie in front of it, the one that you hit with your ice knife, and the zombie is looking terrible. Uh, this one is going to fire a arrow over top of your head, Milo, because you're a small creature, correct? No, I'm gargantuan. <laughs> oh my god. In goodness, maybe. Oh Good, god. Go for it. All right. He's much bigger in person. That's a pathetic amount of damage, though. Uh, the one next to you, Otho, gets struck with a bolt as the guard reloads. Uh, this one here is going to stay put for now. He's going to take the dodge action, and this one's going to charge this one. Uh, surprisingly, still hits. These are very baggy, fleshy zombies. And does decently good damage to that one. That's good. Okay. That ends the uh, guard's turn. Dale does turn to you and goes, you don't want to rush and split up. The last thing you want to do is be split up with your allies. Just stay with us. You're going to be safe. It's fine. <clears throat> if there's a ghoul, though, we may need you to run as he pulls out his own weapon. Uh, that brings us Otho. It is now your turn as there is a zombie right next to you. Slowly kind of crawling out with a bolt in its head. I'm going to look back uh, towards Kai and say, come on, stay with us. And I am going to use a cunning action to disengage. You got it. 
and I'm going to run up here, and I'm going you to take a, sla a slash with my saber. You got it. Probably got to pull up my... Oh, you know what? I have it on. I have it on. Roll 20. Why not? Give roll 20 a try. Here we go. Ooh. There's a 12 hit. 12 absolutely hits, and you get sneak attack, right. so go ahead and roll damage with sneak attack. Saber damage is going to be... Oh, my God. Whoa. That's 11 there we go. damage. That's max and... damage. Sneak attack. That's going to be 15 damage total. Uh, shouldn't your sneak attack be 2d6, or are you still 1d6 right now? It's still 1d6. I'm level okay. 2. I know. You're still baby. Sorry, I just had to confirm that, you know, for your benefit. <laughs> All right, that's 15 damage in total. You kind of spring forth, and with just a stride, the water rippling at your movement, you stab your saber and slash it kind of right through the gut, Cracking the ice as it sprays across the ground. I have to roll Undead Fortitude. Five plus the damage taken. This be DC of 20. Go, buddy. Nope. It is very dead as it slaws back into the water with a splash and bobs on the surface. I just Why flick the, the old decayed blood off of the, the, the saber and I look around. The guard next to you goes, my turn. that was really cool. Because <laughs> he's holding his spear. Oh, he's kind of smirks a little bit at that. Fucking ice Gaius, it is now your, your turn. Boom. Oh, hey, punching range. Hey, check it out. Whack-a-mole. And... Oh. Battle axe two-handed. You got it? What the... Fuck. Ugh, a nine. That still hits. It's a zombie. Okay, cool. We're level <laughs> two. You're Looks good, like Zeta. I'm just going to check your audio real fast on Wallfly. What? Yeah, you Yeah, you got quiet a little bit. Yeah. Oh, hold on. I, I think... Oh, I see why. I accidentally, like, one of my wires hit the game volume knob. Oh. oh that. ah. That's now my, mouse, okay. my mouse wire was wrapped around that knob. Sorry. There we go. Yeah, you sound louder now. Okay, cool. Sorry. No worries. Uh, I just I want to make sure I hear you. All right, you you slide over. Flashing. Oh my lord! <laughs> okay, Melvin. You take out your battle axe two-handed and you slash down, hacking this thing from kind of clavicle of the neck down to the chest cavity. Its head slaws slightly backwards, but it is still standing. Well, nothing else I can do at that point, so that's me. All right, it is now the enemy's turn. The zombie immediately climbing up is going to reach and go to smack at you, Gaius. Yeah. Uh, ooh, that's not super great. Uh, that's gonna be a 14 to hit. That misses. All right, as it goes, you kind of slash off its hand, and it kind of splats into the water. This other zombie here is going to attack that guard. Uh, that also misses. Otho. As you stand there and kind of clean off your saber, you hear more gurgling and you now see more bubbling on the surface. As you see, bursting out from the water and climbing up the side of the wood, pulling itself up another zombie. And on this side, another one kind of climbing up on the opposite thicker dock. That ends the enemy's turn. Milo, it is now your turn. <laughs> uh, give me a moment here. Time for sun yep. kiss. Yep. Yep. <laughs> here comes the sun. Cool. All right. Oh, God. God. <laughs> Milo runs uh, underneath the legs of Iskan, uh, gets beside this guard, raises his uh, gauntleted right arm into the air, and just shouts out, "On and cleanse them in holy fire!" And uh, everybody makes uh, cons. Hang on, it's been a while since I've done this. I know. Um, welcome back to the, the welcome back to the game. All right, let's Kaboom. channel some divinity of radiance of the dawn. It is a where is that con save? There we go. Save. Con save of where's my spell save? Uh, fourteen. All right, I will do this clockwise just to make it simpler. So this one right next to Gaius uh, rolled actually pretty well. Uh, they rolled a 22, surprisingly. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, they got a really high roll. Uh, 
this zombie here that just burst out of the water uh, rolled a soft 20. Good Stop. lord. I'm Stop sorry. It. I'm sorry. I'm rolling. It's like they're one good stat. It's my Dracona dice. They're just so good. Oh my Buy God. them now Dracona at Die Hard Dice. From Die Hard Dice. Dieharddice.com. Yeah. Sorry, I'm writing down who's succeeding and who's failing. Da, 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 da. The one over here. Uh, that's going to be a 13. That will fail. So that's a failure. Here you go. And then the one to the northwest. Menard. That's another failure. That's going to be an 11. Okay. Hey, Everybody rolled. Success chance. That's good. So half and half, yeah. It's not bad. Okay, so everyone rolled? Everyone rolled, yeah. All right, here four. we go. 2d10 plus 2. That's 14 points of damage. Uh, 14 halved, points. Halved if they passed. Okay. The it's one in, Yep. The one immediately next to you guys explodes in a flurry of radiant flame, plunging back into the water and glowing ever so faintly. As it is entirely taken out. Uh, that's 14 now. total. This zombie right here doing combat with this guard also explodes into radiant fire. This one here that just emerged had the worst wake up call <laughs> is still alive, <laughs> but it looks terrible. Oh, he's like, no thanks. I already had my Sunny D. And then this one right up here also takes the full brunt of the damage and is still standing. Um, with my last little bit of my action, I'm going to look to this guard and shout out, come back over here and stay with us. He kind of turns you and kind of gives you a nod. All right, that is my turn. And then he runs right. in the other direction and dives into the ocean. Yes. Where he All dies right. immediately by more zombies. <laughs> All right, top of the turn order, East End, it is now your turn. Oh, so now we get to move? Yeah. Uh, whatever. Actually, hold on. Maybe I won't move. Maybe I'll think about moving, but I won't move. Uh, and instead, uh, Iskan will uh, hold his hand out again in the direction of that zombie. Uh, but inspired by the radiant display that he just saw and thinking back to his conversation with Milo, <gasps> he's going to try and focus on uh, that holy light, uh, and he's going to use uh, a guiding bolt. Yeah! Oh, Sun okay. Buddy. Sun buddies! If I can figure out where it is in my actions. There it is. Yes, this one. Does a 13 hit? It does, yes. Does 13 radiant damage sound good to you? Sheesh. You're aiming it for this guy here? That guy there. Yeah, he explodes. Yeehaw. It like it Gallagher's chunks of his flesh across the deck. Eastgun will look at his hand and look at Gaius and then look over towards Milo. And if he catches Milo's eyes, he'll give a thumbs up. He gives two humongous thumbs up, pogging super hard in your direction. <laughs> All right. The guard next I to you, Milo, is like, I can't here. say. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right to stay with us. Uh supposed to claim flashbang before you throw it <laughs> sorry i'm new to this a test of your reflex <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Eastkin, does that end your turn yes okay that brings us to kai it is now your turn uh i'm gonna double move to the south and that'll be turn let's see all right that brings us to the guard's turn. Dale kind of looks at you and goes like, you guys are really good at this, actually. <laughs> Help us clear them out. And he kind of turns around, and he is going to pop a crossbow shot at this zombie right here. With his sawed-off crossbow. With his sawed-off crossbow. And he <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay, not bad damage. It's not terrible. Oh, actually, he gets it down to zero. So let's see if it uh, stays up or dies. It actually stays up. That's super oh, sad. Wow. Oh, shit. Wow. Yeah. He shoots it, and then he's like, I got it. And then you watch as it ah, keeps moving. And he's like, damn it, son of a... God, I wish I had some of that magic that you guys have. <laughs> that seems to work really well. All right. This guard is going to move back and is going to actually kind of join you. 
uh, Gaius. He's going to hold an action to attack anything that comes within five feet of himself. Uh, this guard is going to heed your advice, Milo, and is going to stick with the group. And he's oh, gonna thank you. Over. But he is going to hold his action to shoot anything that gets within range of his crossbow, so he's not going to full the full dash movement. Right. Uh, this fellow is going to... I'm going to roll a wisdom check here. He's a dumbass. He's going to run right for the zombie. No! Oh, you uh, fool! You fool! Gilbert Jim Godfrey, Anthony, you why? fool! He hits. You hero! <laughs> you Chad! He changed his tune rather quickly. He actually kills it. He oh, runs shit. over it with his spear and jams it down the neck hole of the zombie. And there you see some bubbles. And as he wrenches it back up, it does not resurface. Maelstrom squadron rank up. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, that ends the guard's turn. Uh, that brings us to uh, Otho. It is now your turn. Ah, uh, well, I no longer see any enemies, so I'll just I'll look to the guard that, that said you guys are good at this, and I'll say, unfortunately, we have a lot of practice with this. Uh, we should move. The longer we stay here, the more they'll rise. You guys are quite capable of handing your own. You guys go on ahead. We'll hold them back. Yeah. And I'll just uh, move up here and wait for my companion to follow. Eastcan, as you kind of look forward to where to go, Dale kind of looks back to you and goes, I'm really sorry, I didn't mean to doubt you, but uh, usually when we escort the hoity-toity types, they're usually uh, less equipped to handle these sorts of things. I wouldn't call us hoity-toity so much as uh, rough and tumble. <laughs> I've learned that now. It's a shame you're not sticking around. He kind of loads the crossbow again. Be nice to get some drinks afterwards. Uh, Let's go we'll with see X-Men! All right. That ends Otho's turn. <laughs> I'll say since there are no enemies remaining on the map, you guys make your way off. You begin to you still hear the warning bells, a sound that you, Kai, and Otho are somewhat familiar with. Uh, it is a sound usually when something is, you know, either a large storm is rolling in, there are, you know, enemies at the gates, or there is some sort of like, you know, something has been unleashed upon Martorallo. It's gen generally reserved for huge emergencies. Warning bells. Yeah, more like warning bells. And there's one for like every sector of docks and you're hearing all of them kind of ringing somewhat in tandem, though it seems to be very like, almost similar to the flags, almost a communication as you hear some ringing out more direly while others are actually kind of ringing gently and then stopping. Jeez. And as you guys make your way up kind of to the coastline, eventually you begin to see more individuals at this time, like fighting off zombies and kind of at this point disposing of them. You see a guy with a wheelbarrow who's just the designated wheelbarrow man, who's just like, zombies, put them in the wheelbarrow. And you watch as his guards are like just slawing off and like adding them to this large pile. You do hear kind of screams of someone screaming out, ghoul, ghoul, and you see just a bunch of soldiers kind of running off. Oh. Eventually, I I though, the bells do subside. Okay. As you make your way through the city. I just look over to the guard. How regular is that? One of the guards currently, you can see he's a bit more well-equipped. He looks a lot more like Dale in the in terms of rank. Uh, he kind of wipes his brow, uh, takes off his helmet, and kind of sets it to his eye and goes, Oh, at least, I'm going to say, like four times a month, maybe? This one's a little one. This one wasn't that bad. Not that bad. When the Ash Plague first came to our lands, it was, uh, well, we were less prepared and less equipped, and... And uh, the threat was much more real. We lost quite a few fishermen in the first uh, beginnings of the Ash Plague. I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah. yeah. Comes with the territory, I suppose. All right. 
I assume we're still being uh, shuffled away. No, you you left Dale behind. Dale and his men stay behind to, to keep a defensive perimeter. He thought you guys ah. would need an escort, but you proved yourselves very much capable. Oh. <laughs> just above oh, game really should... quick. Oh, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Otho was just going to say, well, we should go see the Ocean Lord before any more incursions happen. That's right, then. We should probably get out of here. Okay. Double Everyone else is in agreement? Yeah. As you guys kind of make your way through the city, the rest of the city acts as if nothing has happened at all. Um, you see people who are kind of complaining uh, that, oh, God, I have, business, I have fish I need to sell today. And uh, kind of zombies squawking. again? <laughs> yeah, squawking about it. Um, you do also notice, right and you would around. notice this, Milo, for certain, you see a, a, a small procession of what looks to be acolytes of uh, various Ooh. different faiths making their way down towards the docks in sort of a hurried pace. I bet I could guess what that is. You see behind them a very well-fed donkey uh, currently pulling a cart filled with a bunch of jingling glasses. Like vials? Uh, like vials, yeah. Holy water. Potion mm -hmm. seller? Oh, sorry. <laughs> cannot do they... my strongest potions. <laughs> I, I was about to say, are they... Potions. Oh my god, Monty! Old memes! Sorry. Um, are they full or... Empty? Uh, you can hear them. You can't really see them. Oh, that's fair. I am very short. You are very short. And it is also a covered wagon that seems yeah. to be being kind of defended as people are kind of making their way and, and letting this cart through as the acolytes in their various degrees of armor, but mostly robes, are kind of slowly making their way down towards the dogs. As you hear the last bell ringing out eventually come to a standstill. Is there still a guard with us? Nope. Okay, we're all alone. You are okay. all by yourselves. Guys, do, do you think they're going to be all right? I mean, you heard them. They handle something like this four times a month. That's more just, times in the last month than we have. Just feel like I should go help them. Men, women, the cloth, you know. The Motorello standing guard are a cut above, if I had to say so myself. We deal with threats from all sides. Uh, I understand. I just... The sooner we get out of here, the better. Let, let's get going. I agree just, with that. Just remember what you told me way back. Our best way to help them is to take care of this first. That's right. That's right. That's right. All right. You guys make your way through the city streets with Otho's directions. It's easy enough to find your way back to the uh, pinnacle, and we I believe it was called Pinnacle now. Rock. Mm. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, go back a couple of pages on my notes. As you make your way back up to the homestead of Ozemir Harland, you're met again by the two guards, uh, standing in their very fine plate armor, weapons at their side. And as you approach, the one that greeted you initially kind of approaches and goes. Ah, you've returned. Um, you were supposed to have an escort, but I suspect by the sound of the bells you were waylaid. Uh, uh, yes, I'll I'll be it briefly. Ah, yes. Ah, please, be inside. They're waiting for you. Guess we'll go on in. Okay. By the way, Monty, it's Ocean's Pinnacle. Ocean's Pinnacle, that was it. I knew it was Pinnacle something. As you once again make your way inside, you are greeted by the finery and beauty of Ozemir Harlan's home. The various art hanging on the walls, the sculptures of many ships and various other, I want to say knickknacks, that seems kind of tacky, but like, you know, <laughs> items of, of intrigue, like, there's like a really nice conch shell and you're like, I don't get it, but then you look inside and it's beautifully inlaid. So like display pieces. Yeah, a lot of really unique display pieces. Gotcha. Should we, should we call them heirlooms, do you think? Uh, they don't really seem like heirlooms. They seem more like, um, and Otho, you, you, Otho and Kai, you would know this, like gifts that he probably received and has put on oh, display. Okay. Yeah. Eventually you find yourselves in front of the, the waiting doors of his office. Uh, and as you open up, who would like to open the doors, I guess I should ask. I'm not doing it. Uh, I vote Otho. Me too. I don't do it. 
Also, as you open up the door, immediately you see two figures in the room. You see Ozmir Harland currently looking out of the window towards the, you know, the noises below. And you also see a very beautiful half-elven woman with kind of dark tan skin and beautiful billowing black hair and like these large ringlet curls. And as you open the door and step inside, this woman turns and looks to you, Otho, and goes, Oh, Otho, my darling! And she runs over and immediately just kind of hugs you. I, Someone... I just heard I just heard the fucking Better Call Saul theme play and it's just <laughs> the fucking face of Otho. <laughs> uh, Otho, something you should tell us about. Uh, I don't recognize this woman, do I? No, not at all. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of expecting Lynn. You watch as she kind of uh, leans back and she, she looks at your face and she goes, oh, You're not harmed, are you? No, ma'am. I did not sustain two grievous injuries. And I'm she, just like, she places over a her hand face, on her. going over my memory, like, Do I know you? Do I know you? Do I know you? <laughs> Osmir oh Harlan oh is just watching you? the scene and, and she places a hand on her breast. She goes, when you sent me that most dire message on our, our, our secret sending stones, I, I just, I feared for the worst. Oh, Master Harland, uh, forgive me. I, I think I need a smoke. And you watch as she pulls out an ivory pipe and begins to kind of wipe it with her thumb. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. That's what da, I thought. Da, da, Come da, out. Da, 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 da. Um... Uh, would Iskan be able to put two and two together? Yeah, yeah all of you Milo. do. Gotcha. All of you okay. do. And Otho, as, sure. <laughs> as you're the only one who can see her face. She's like, she's like playing the part of like, oh, I'm so scared. And then like, and when she's wiping the the pipe, she's giving like, I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> like, <Yeah>. I. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, and thank you, Mr. Harland. And he goes, Oh yes, don't mind, my dear. And as she kind of leaves and hurries past you guys, you can all see like this look of just like, fuck, thank God it's over. As this woman just kind of leaves and heads out the hallway. And as you kind of turn back, Otho, Ozemir Harlan kind of uh, stroke rubs, runs a hand through his beard and he goes, the Aberdeen girl. Aberdeen, does that name sound familiar to me? Uh, go ahead and roll a history check with advantage. History with advantage. Aberdeen. Hop, 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 hop. I love that scene. Okay. Uh, that's gonna be a 20 win. 20 win? Why don't I see it? Yeah, I don't see it either. I do not see it as well. Did, roll 20. My... I'm gonna honor it. Did my... Oh, now that you mention it, where did my Beyond 20 go? Hang on. Oh. I'll get this fixed. Just Don't worry. Okay. Beyond. No yes, worries. Just, I will honor the 21 it's, it's not, because you did say it. It's not here. So. It's, not, it's not on my browser anymore. Oh. That's odd. That's not great. Just update it. No worries. Uh, as you update that, the Aberdeen family, you know immediately with a 21 for certain. Um, you were not aware that they had a daughter, but the Aberdeen family is probably the, is a, a steel baron family. They produce most of the weapons and armor in Martorallo, and they are very wealthy. Um, probably maybe third to fourth to the richness of Coleco, the ocean lord. Um, so, yeah, very well-to-do family. <clears throat> I'll tell you no. Uh, we met on the road once, and we, we hit it off. <laughs> I see. Go and roll deception check with advantage. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's oh. going to be a 16 either way. Okay. I am not trained in deception. <laughs> you rolled like shit. He turns to you and goes... Yes, yes, she spoke of um, you going on a trip together, and um, Axe Beaks, she seems to be quite the fan. Yes, yes, I think she might be interested in raising them or breeding them or something. I'm not sure, but she has taken quite the liking to them. 
And she's also quite taken the liking to you. I've heard rumors, and he kind of goes, walks over and kind of takes a drink for himself. I've heard rumors that there was a, not to speak illy of your, your lover, but I heard rumors that Miss Molly Aberdeen had been having secret affairs with a somebody and I wanted to think it was you. <laughs> he takes a drink. <laughs> I digress. Your Marley, returned. wait, Marley Aberdeen. I, Molly, which, like, Molly, Molly Aberdeen. Molly mm -hmm. Aberdeen. Wait, that's a real person then. Uh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's not great. Well. So you have, you've returned. Miss uh, come in, come in, take seats, please. Oslamir, you know what they say about rumors. You're not to believe all of them. Are you saying that perhaps it is best that I keep my mouth um, quiet about this affair? No. Your father would not approve. Uh, affair is a really strong word you'll keep using. Um... <laughs> <laughs> well, do not let blame us... me. Your mistress us... speaks let quite let a bit about just... you. <laughs> Can I... <laughs> Can I insight him to see if if he's like actually disapproving of of something like No, go like ahead, this? roll insight. Man, insight, you think you um, know a guy? You think I you know, know right? a guy? On the next panic grim tongue, oh. I assure you. Uh, that's a four. <laughs> four. You see an old timer enjoying young love. He's like, ah, oh, youths. Yes, we we do all have private lives, Oslamir. Mm. Uh, if I shall see to it that it remains private then I guess thank you <laughs> i was just gonna say i don't mean to be too forward but uh we kind of have some business to attend to i mm, figured yes, that we... you would i see you've returned and not only that you've brought in uh, quite the entourage with you but it sounds by the way of the bells that it wasn't anything that we could not handle uh looking at everybody else well um, I assure you there will be more on the way and there'll be even more than you think. Well, we are prepared for it. You may not I... think we are, but we are. Did we tell him how many there were in that message? I don't remember specifically. You didn't tell him anything. You told no, Rebu. No, no. Okay, yeah. well, did we tell Rebu how many were on the way? I think we may have just said lots. Oh, yeah, I, lots. Yeah, we said lots. Uh, Aslamir. Oh, go ahead. The, the situation that we observed out there was quite dire indeed. Th there may be thousands coming. To this I am quite aware. The Ash Plague has formed its curse upon this land in a very uni unique and curious state. Is that he... All the... hmm? Sorry, I was just going to say, is he getting it, or... Like... He seems... You look at him, he seems to... Uh, at a glance, this man is, is very... Like, he's got experience. He seems to know what he's talking about. Because it's one thing when it's a thousand over time, rather than all at once. Ow. He kind of turns to you and goes, I believe if I am to be understood that if anything was to be following you and it were to be the sizable amount that you said, we would have probably have encountered it by now. Give it 24 hours and we'll know for certain. Yeah, I fixed it. Well, uh, for what it's worth, I saw them with my own eyes. They were marching along the bottom of the ocean. They're mm -hmm. probably a little slower than the boat was. I don't think they would have beat us here. Well, I meant more that could they keep pace with you? If they could not, then it's no doubt that they were still lost at sea. The problem is, is that we need to go north, which is possibly going to send them north as well, right through here. Again, I want to point out, and I pointed out this detail, just because they can detect the orb doesn't mean they're going to follow it, remember? Okay. It has been a month. It has been a month. So the orb does, it is noticeable by undead within, I believe, 16 miles. Mm -hmm. 
but it doesn't attract them. It just it's like they have okay. a perception of it more or less. Okay. Yeah, so just point that out. So you guys could easily outpace those zombies within 16 miles with Winona on that ship. That ship went fast. Gotcha. Okay. And they are like half speed underwater slow. So okay. the null just to it has been a month just to clarify, like you guys outpaced the shit out of them. Like okay. yeah. Then I withdraw my statement canonically. Have it I think the, on the record, please. I think the real problem will be when we get back to Easonvale. There'll Indeed. be no hiding from the undead there. Have you not already purified one of these orbs, though? We have. Well, And you we ran into no it. issues with that one. Well, We didn't do it so much as Lynn did. Yes, we of course, Master We just kept her Lynn. safe. And, it, the, and the evil powers that be may be looking at us a bit harder. Indeed. When, when we purified the first one, it seemed as though I got the sensation that some force was trying to stop us. Hmm. We were assailed by undead until the ritual was complete. And something tells me that this time is going to be even worse. I imagine that it will only get worse the more you do this. You are playing to the affairs of very powerful things. But, and he kind of slowly sits down on one of the couches and kind of rests his cane against his leg. You are doing good. I wonder no. if perhaps what you're doing could resolve the issue altogether. Well, that is the idea. Hmm. The hope. Speaking of, uh, how long might it take before we can get out of town and be on our way? As soon as you need to go. I mean, it depends on what you all need. Maybe food, supplies, something along those lines? Certainly. I and, would... Uh, if you would happen to know if... Uh, the route north is clear. I don't know. I will be perfectly honest with you. The machinations of Matarallo beyond the border walls, the great port city of Matarallo, are, while I do send out land guard to it, it is not our main focus. So whatever is occurring there, the reports are scarce and infrequent. So expect goblins and augurs and that kind of thing. Got it. Expect anything. But you've made it this far on your way this way. I have faith that you can make it out in the similar fashion. All right. I guess if... Does anybody have anything else? Slow turn towards Kai and Otho. I, uh... I, I don't know if you guys had put any thought to it but uh you know given that this is your home if uh if you guys wanted to stay i mean well, I i'd understand i want to i really do but this what we are doing is of greater importance than any of my wants or needs at the moment. You'll see Iskin kind of breathe a small sigh of relief and relax a little bit. I'm really glad to hear you say that. I, <laughs> I didn't know if you guys were going to stay here or not and you've been a really big help on the road and i really trust you guys and um yeah i'm just uh, i'm glad <laughs> that's all thank you mr seat lolly it brings me joy to hear you say that still though it will be hard leaving this place 
We had only just arrived again, and... I'm being torn away from my home. Well, Otho, if it's any consolation, you know, the, the source of what might be causing a whole lot of undead to come to your home, it, we got it. We're going to get rid of it. We're I gonna know. Make this, we're going to make this place safer. I know. I know. And then you'll have a home to come back to. I will he see about is... procuring you supplies. You may talk amongst yourselves. I imagine you would like to plan out your route heading back towards Isenvale. The map is already out. Before you finish <laughs> the sentence. <laughs> uh, on the ocean's pinnacle, is the Valentinius residence within eyeshot? It is not, no. it is. Most of the estates are kind of like, they have a lot of land to them, so they're kind of sequestered a little bit. Okay, well, I at least think that Otho would know the direction it's in, so... You would, yeah. It's it's down, Otho, the, down the hill. You passed it on your way up here. Yeah, Otho will just sort of look in that direction and under his breath say, right, home. As uh, Ozmir Harland kind of begins to make his way towards the door, he kind of stops for a moment and goes... For my own personal curiosities, and you do not have to answer, but uh, how was your time with Miss Odez? Enlightening. I think we made a new friend. Big <laughs> stupid smile. <laughs> Did you? He kind of turns away and nods. He goes, that's girl. That's good. That young girl hasn't had many friends her own age. It's probably good for her. Kind of opens up the door and he goes... I will be back forthwith, and uh, Otho, do not leave your lady companion waiting. It's not gentlemanly. Of course not, no. What kind of gentleman leaves a woman waiting? Closes the door behind him. Does he think we're right Nona's age? Well. Why, how old are you? I'm, well, I'm, I was 20. I think I'm still 20 or 21 now, or mm -hmm. I don't know. The Connor kind of <laughs> made things weird. Well, then, yes, you would be about Winona's age. I thought she was younger. No, she's she's like 18 or 19, right? Montague? Yeah, she's about 18, 19 years old. It's like, so I guess I'm I'm a bit closer to her age then. Huh. I'm 19. Youngsters, all of you. <laughs> well, we already know you're older than we are. You're the only one who remembers the eclipse. 26. Can't wait until I get a bit older. Everyone looks at the wiki. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 12, and what is this? Shahalem furiously <laughs> writing things down. <laughs> All right, do you guys want to unravel that map? Oh, it's sure. already open. Yeah. yeah. All right, let me review. It the is open, map and of this conversation for you. was going on while Eastcon is down there with like a, a compass, like the mathematical compass, and like measuring distances between the towns, and he's already starting to like put out uh, uh, measurements. Um, of distance or guesstimations of distance between each point that they've visited already, comparing it to the map that he was keeping and adding points that he may have missed, making adjustments to the landscape and the coastline. And he's, if if no one stops him, he's taking a lot of time with these. Damn, guys. slow down, chief. All right, no, are no, you ready? You have to understand. I'm going to reveal <laughs> the whole thing. You oh, my God. Oh, Monona. fuck. Right oh, oh, that's so much that's map. Nice. <laughs> Look yeah. at all this land we can't go to. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look at all this land we're going away from. Oh no. Oh. Once again, That's shout out to Brachyzoid who makes these maps. It'll Thanks, Brachy. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Brachy. I'm going to screenshot this so I can. For my own private notes. <laughs> I can't wait to come back here at like 
15 levels later to finish my hunting logs. Well, I will say this. <laughs> you guys, because you, you did leave quite an impression on Winona, you can charter boats from here now if you Yo! want to use boats. Yeah. 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 Let's go. Yeah. Wait. Could we charter a boat going through the river from the south up north? No, I think we because it's going we, up. We tried oh, to do up that. river. That's right. You yeah, thought we about that? It that is... last time much too narrow. It yeah, is yeah, way yeah. too narrow. It is not seaworthy or shipworthy. We could You're... get canoes we, th if we had a little <laughs> dinghy, maybe. <laughs> There's waterfalls. A... We can't dinghy up a waterfall. <laughs> Guys, you're thinking too small. We just phantom steed our way up there. And oh, we that's ride right. Ghost horses there off. is we no ghost, have to catch horse. The ghost horse. That's all. Shut up! I'm ghost making horse. it real. The ghost horse. Uh oh. Uh oh, hang on. What's uh -oh. my headphone broke? Oh, oh no. Boss. That what is uh oh. Oh, and I just glued this. No. What? Y'all, y'all keep going. I'm gonna mute for a second. No worries. Alrighty, so yeah, there's your map. It says martorallo.png. I could also like give you the map file too yeah. as well. That would be so helpful. That would be sick. Doesn't it doesn't have your towns on it though, because that's that's a that's a roll twenty exclusive right there. That's why I screenshot this so I can note them when I get back to making the physical map. So you guys want to take a break here while we wait for maybe guys yeah, to get sure, why not? Sure, Probably yeah. ideal time to take a nice little break. Yeah. So, uh, hello, chat. Welcome to the patented, totally original Mark Allen Jr. halftime show. Legally distinct. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. There's only one. Uh, it's this one, uh, the Mark Allen Jr. halftime show. How you doing, chat? Welcome back to the Unexpectables <coughs> after yeah, five okay. weeks away. How wowie crazy is that? Zowie. Did you say wowie zowie? Wowie zowie. That's illegal. Yowie wowie. <laughs> All right. I'm doing the... What? Oh, God. Uh, who was that? Oh, no. I've forgotten my wrestlers of the 80s. Dang it. it 80s? No, this was like fucking Rick three Flair. years ago. Ric Flair. That's what I'm thinking of. Ric, Ric the, Flair never the... went yowie wow. No, 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 no. It was just you were doing the coked up Ric Flair voice. That's all. Oh. Um, yes. So, uh, welcome back, everybody. I don't know uh, where Connor left off with bits and subs. Um, and uh, I can't see I all could of probably them. tell you. But, uh, yeah. Do you want to read Bray some Wyatt. Uh, I could. Let's I have see. to I have to conscript Connor for the Mark Allen Jr. halftime show. Sorry, guys. Yes, here I am. Hello. I am why not did, on the PA roll. Why did you become cat version of Vincent Price? <laughs> yeah. Because. Yes. Uh, where did I leave off? Where did I leave off? I'll start here. Uh... Z-Man Stardust, thank you for the 32 months. We're back with the Alton Unexpectables. Hope tonight goes well. Connor, I really hope Roll20 treats you right tonight. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, been treating me right on so far. Doing okay so far, yeah. Knock Keyword, so far. Ow! <laughs> I knocked too hard. Uh, yeah. Uh, Pixel Belladonna. Yeah. Uh, Pixel Belladonna, thank you for the 17 months. Yas, baby! I just passed my driver's test today, so this is an extra special treat. Nice, hey. congratulations! Now you can go to all the places with all the maps. Yeah, goblet of fun making. Thank you for the 31 months. Glad to see I'm not late to the stream. Glad to see these shorts you've been posting on YouTube. High hopes that it brings a lot of new folks. Yeah, that is that is part of the hope. Uh, obviously, uh, it's just one of those things we wanted to do for a while, making it like a little highlight reel. It's been a lot of fun, and Mike's been doing a killer job. Mike's doing fantastic. Mike is a absolute badass when it comes to editing these videos. Uh, yeah. Okay, I I'm back. Are we taking a break? Yeah, yes. we are taking a break. Yeah. Well, okay, I'm gonna. I'll be right back again. Go for yeah. it. Okay. Go for it. The uh, yeah. 
Solar Misfit, thank you for the 10 months of Prime. My sub baby is a bit past due. What will we name them? Submantha. Submantha. There you go. Splorb? <laughs> Splorb. Yeah. My child. Splorb. That'll be the second child. Splorb. <laughs> <laughs> These are my children. You get your second sub, sub baby. Splorb. God, yeah, it sub reminds, me of, Splorb. reminds me of fucking Snart. Snart. <laughs> <laughs> Who was around for that meme? It was it was the it was the uh, it was the painting of, of Jesus Christ that got uh, botched horribly <laughs> when it was uh, what was it uh, re rejuvenated? Re they were trying to restore it and it got yeah. botched horribly yeah. and they named it Snart. <laughs> 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 uh, Commander Solus, thank you for the 32 months. Super Blue Hedgehog, thank you for the 1,006 bits. Smooth Enigma, thank you for the uh, 15 months of Prime. Mikan Pachi, thank you for the 100 bits. Come! Uh. <laughs> Rags18, thank you for the gifting five subs to the community. Uh, yeah. San Juan Brown, thank you for the uh, 18 months. Last Kerfuffle, thank you for the 32 months. Almost three years. Whew. Zach Oduo, thank you for the 32 months. Marth Randor, thank you for the 10 or the 100 bits. Fishcan. No. <laughs> uh, Not allowed. Illegal. There's a specific the, fish uh, I'm thinking of that is a real fish that looks uh, looks like a bit like Eastcan, but it's like semi-translucent too. You know and it has like a giant. A, I don't remember what it's called. Not a not a beta, but it's like a betta or something. No, no, beta it's like a big tropical, tropical fish. fish ah, okay. Smaller. Is are you talking yeah, about like the one like uh, like Dory from Finding Nemo? Or? No, no, it's like a big blue fish. I'm gonna look for it while we have our bits and subs. Indeed, ATLA gamer, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, Dusk Ninja Kenji, thank you for the 100 bits. Hey guys, I'm working on a campaign where the Pantheon of Gods were once humans who ascended beyond mortality. I found I'm it! stuck on how the ascent... Oh. <laughs> this is super easy. Alright, I'm posting it in general. See what I mean? That doesn't look like Iska. Look at the fucking lips! <laughs> <laughs> He's the son of the dirtiest That's a parrot fish. I've ever seen. Yeah, it's a parrot fish. I'm gonna post it in chat. <laughs> Big lip Iskon moment! <laughs> 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 there you go, chat. That's what I was thinking in my brain. <laughs> it's like if East Gun was a Gungan. What do you mean it looks like? It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like fucking, it's like, it's that Look at this one. Meme. It's that meme. They're both exactly the same. <laughs> Corporate wants you to find the differences between these two pictures. Oh my They're the God, same picture. I'm crying. <laughs> You're the Look artist. What are you Look at this! Like Look at this guy. He's he's giving a little smile. Look at oh him. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Chet. This uh, is this stand still. Little... My eyes are on the side of my head. <laughs> he's giving a little smile. Look at him. <laughs> Overjoyed on this map, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Dusk Ninja Kenji, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, and the additional uh, 300 bits, my goodness. Uh, I gotta go, I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> Reaper Harlequin, thank you for the 55 bits. <laughs> Henry Skelleman, thank you for the 200 bits. Otho the Home Wrecker. Now, wait a minute. Now, let's just hold our horses for one second. Uh, Dr. Dead Inside, thank you for the 100 bits. Hey, guys, <laughs> just wanted to toss out two fun ideas for the bit cup. Uh, an axe beak staring up like a turkey, or second, a bucket. Oh, those are good, actually. Mm. We had Tarisk for the first campaign. We need, we need a new one. Mm -hmm. I'm holding out to you guys, like, hit a certain point, and I think we'll probably decide on something. Excellent. Crit Scratch, thank you for the... <coughs> thank you for the 28... Uh-oh. 
<coughs> oh god, please say to my mother didn't stay get with, sick. Stay with us. Stay with us. Uh, I really hope I didn't get sick. Uh, crit scratch. Thank you for the 28 months. It's all about the maps, baby. I love the maps. Let's go maps, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I, I, I saw, like... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, okay. I, 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 I saw, like, a fucking <laughs> video of the Mets meme, but it was, like, one of those one of those old Japanese paintings of, like, a samurai, and he's like, it's not always about victory. It's about the Mets, baby, and it, it was <laughs> all in Japanese, and it was like, Mets Daisuke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying. I <laughs> oh uh, Doctor Dead Inside. Thank you for the 100 bits. Crit Scratch. Thank you for the 28 bit. Uh, 28 months. E Pam. Thank you for the 500 bits. Uh, weird being back and not hearing Bosco for most of the session. Also hearing him uh, so. Oh, while also hearing him so constantly over the past month. Indeed. Burnout Vaughn, thank you for the 32 months. Uh, I'm sorry. I only support the official Bosco halftime show. I'm boycotting this new programming. Whoa! Bro shit. Whoa. I've never heard of that show. They must be copying me. Dice Ruler, thank you for the 100 bits. Welp, Otho's in deep water. I find it hilarious. Honestly, I thought it was his fiance for a moment. Oh, that would have been awkward. Yeah, I thought you had an arranged marriage or something, man. Mm -hmm. Well, that would have been awkward. <laughs> That's how Brutus would have fucking kept you here. T Turns out I faked my own kidnapping. That's how you do it. Oh my uh, god, a runaway look bride. At, look at how happy he is. <laughs> Are, Are you still so so yeah. yeah. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> damn, damn. You, know what, so you know what this happy. picture needs to be accompanied by? It needs to be accompanied by the Tony Hawk trick sound effect. <laughs> 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 a, little, a little helmet on that big old bubble's head and just a skateboard. There you go. Here's another one for you, fishing. chat. Look at him. He looks so happy. Okay, yeah. let's stop looking now. I, Callum I draws, thank you for the 50 bits. Is it me or does Martorello kind of look like a boot? Mm, maybe does it look like a sideways. boot? I think, I think, I think it, it, it looks like it has a boot. I can't believe Marta, boot, Martorello is the boot of Martorello. I don't want to give away. It, 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 it looks like, zooming out further, it looks like if, if, if Kirby had a really small shoe. No, it looks like a slug. <laughs> like, the top left is the two it, little eye socks. Got, the body you, stretches out to the right. It, and then at the front and the bottom, it's, it's the little foot. Oh, my God. It's a slug with an actual human foot. No. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Now it's cursed. <laughs> instead, of a, instead of a slug foot. It's like, it's like they I tried to recreate uh, Trogdor, but something went wrong. <laughs> it looks like Slugma. I really like I, I on one hand I really want to tell you how I make my maps like how I does I determine like this like the shape for my maps but I also don't want to tell you it because you're gonna all make fun of me Pokemon <laughs> Monty we're gonna make fun of you either way I know That's so here, here's here's a great way to make a map by the way and this is actually how I made the entire Alton region I literally took out a giant piece of paper that had like a grid on it like you know like the square paper and I and I shit you not I dumped out macaroni all over it. Yeah. Oh. Like oh, uncooked that's uncooked macaroni. Really cool. Yeah, I, and then I, I traced mean, around the entire thing. That, that's not a bad approach. I mean, I, I all, all I would do is just take a fucking dab. I, I would put water in a sponge and let the water like absorb the paper until it made a shape. I used to yeah. do um, like a, I, I guess like a slight burn cure. So I'd take like one of those. First of all, I'd take parchment paper because it takes longer to burn. And then I would take one of those long stick lighters and just kind of run it back and forth along the bottom of the paper. And then after a little while, flip it over, let it rest, and then come back to it. And then the burn marks would be the shape of the landmass. The last time I did anything with fire, I almost burnt my house down when it came to making stuff. Monty, you stick with macaroni, Monty. That's fine. Yeah, I'll stick with my macaroni. Uh, are we all back, by the way? Because yeah. I'm good to keep going here. I think so. All right. Oh, I'm cool. I'm Everyone's I good just, to go? I'm insulted, I just, but I'm back. 
I just saw the art of Zito if he was in a, a, a costume of his character. And I'm oh scared. my god. Oh, oh, the one where it's like me in the fucking Gaius Garfield fucking outfit. Yeah. Also, I'm... LJ just finished a lovely meme drawing. I put it in memes. Please enjoy. I am so. I'm Shout so out to LJ. Unhappy. Yes, good. Good. <laughs> oh exactly my god. what I was thinking. A snail oh, with a foot. Curse. It's a and snail an with an actual human foot so and curse. ankle. All right, you guys good to get back into it? Sure. Connor, you good to go? Nope. Connor's dead. Connor! Connor has died. What? Who will do our sneak attacks now? It was a ninja what? parrot fish in the dark of night. What? Don't you dare, that's legend. <laughs> Fucking goddamn it, the better call fall theme is stuck in my head now, for fuck's sake. That, that, that the fucking stupid joke has cursed me outside of the fact that uh, the title of this episode is I knew that Final Fantasy 14 joke. <laughs> it's, better, it's better than uh, rats. I, I got up to go pee. God. Okay. Uh, Bosco, are you back? Yep. Yeah. All right. Everyone else is here. All right. Let's get back into it. And as you guys unfold your map and begin to chart your course. I'm trying to find... Yeah, there we go. I'll just zoom out so everyone can take a look at the map so they can understand the snail with the boot thing. The snail. <clears throat> Martirolo the snail. There he is. There he is. Hopefully Jack can see it. That's as far out as I can zoom. We all good? Mm hmm. Yeah. I think so. Well, chosen by this map, I, I think it'd be best to just go back the way we came. Be the most expeditious. The only thing we have to worry about is that goblin bridge up north. Well, that's the last thing I'm worried about right now. I'm more worried about getting past that jagged ridge with them goblin raiders. Do you remember that? Possible ogres? Above game, I don't remember that. Okay, I... so when when we went past the second town here, uh, we had to go through an area of, of like a lot of jagged rock, and then there were goblin raiders, and there were a lot of dead caravans, and it's it's basically the fucking that one like the world's most fucking curviest street in San Francisco, but with goblins <laughs> down a mountainside. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think we could take it. I, I think we'll be fine. We'll go uh, as you guys are having this conversation, there's a little bit of a rasp at the door. A rasp or a rap? A, a, a rasp, I think, <clears throat> right? When you knock with the... That's a like rapping. That? Oh. It's a rap at the door. A rap. A rap, a rap at like the... A voice. Going like oh, <laughs> there is a, a rap at the door. <laughs> Hello! I up. brought you tea. Uh, it's open. You watch as uh, the woman you now know as uh, Molly Aberdeen enters inside and kind of closes the door gently. And she goes, oh, is uh, is Osmere Harland here? Monty, are we able to tell immediately that there's something different between yeah. this one and the one we saw five minutes ago? You don't have a clue. Hmm. Is he here? She, or are does, we in does she have? Does she have a pipe? Yeah, she's holding the pipe between two fingers. Ah. Uh, yes, he's he's just retreated into his office for a moment. Oh, he straight up left. He did not go back to his office. You guys are currently oh. in the waiting room before his mm. office, and he is not in Never there. Never mind. No, he straight up left. <laughs> Good. <laughs> the door slams as she shuts it, and. You watch as just storming up to you and grabbing you by your cravat and shaking you rigorously back and forth. Yeah, what the yeah. fuck was that? Well, I'm sorry, darling, but we had an emergency. Yeah, apparently. God damn it. I was half in a beer and I was having... Ooh. We gotta go so we can... We gotta help us, Rebbe. There's a bunch of zombies on the way. What the fuck? Uh, well... <laughs> wheeze. Open just 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 this the, the slam fist wheeze meme. 
First of all, thank you for the hint. Kind I guess shakes my it first my impressions uh, were worth paying attention to. I told you all, remember the pipe. But, darling, for now, I'm Molly Aberdeen. All right? And... Yes, I'm gonna and... I assume you know who Molly Aberdeen is? Oh, I'm very aware. I am currently wearing her corset. How's it fit? <laughs> so, some dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Tumbleweed blows by. Milo? Uh, I think a better question is where, uh, where's the real Molly? Oh, she's out and about the city at the moment. You stole her clothes? I did you not steal her clothes! I did not steal anything. And Milo, if you like your son so much, I will kick you into it. <laughs> I did not steal Molly's clothes. I asked very politely to borrow them. And her identity to save your bacon. So she Because, knows. oh, she's very aware. She fit me in oh. everything. It was, you know, quite lovely. Except for Are you corset. Familiar with her then oh oh otho you might not be having an affair with her but someone certainly is his eyebrows raised <laughs> wonder who oh, that is well now you have your scapegoat apparently the people think it's me now and that's i think a fair trade for corset great hell <sighs> We can get right. to that at a later date. We need to hire your services again. And it sounds like you need to go very fast as well. That is correct. You might want to perhaps procure more axe beaks and we ditch the cart. Why do you say that? because we can travel faster on the backs of axe beaks than with the cart. Well, That'd be a lot of fun. You're yeah. the expert. How much do you think an axe beak would cost to buy or rent? They're slightly more expensive than horses. Oh. But you and I both have rich friends that reside here. So I'm sure we would be able to ask kindly to have some. Well, I think the sooner we do that, the better. And also, you probably, I mean, you, you can be you again. I think. Nope, not until I return this dress, which we're going to be doing tonight, by the way. All of us? I don't think it has to be all of us. Doesn't have to be all of us, but I might need some assistance getting in. Or at the very least, at least, you know. <sighs> very well. Besides, if uh, Molly Aberdeen's uh, secret lover is seen on the premises, it would help with the rumor. It might as well be me. <laughs> you watch as, as Rebu kind of turns you and gives you a smile. I feel like it's only fair. I think the god's mother isn't around. I guess the rest of us can look around for those axe beaks. Good. Perfect. I wish it was me. I truly do. Well, you'll get to meet him anyway. <clears throat> we You're do have... you be a better picker of them than I would be. I thank you for that compliment. I found that very nice. I... We have Schlorf and Hidian, don't forget about that. We have two already, and they are very strong, and they are also saddle trained as well. So we do have two of them that we can travel on. So we need and three more. Oh, wait. Four. We have two. There are six of us. We're going to need four more. I can do math. Good. I don't. <laughs> well, I mean, if, if it's going to come down to rich friends, wouldn't that be something that you or Otho need to do? Yes, but you do also have an ocean lord offering to buy you supplies based off of the list he was giving to some of his guards, so you could ask. 
Yes, I, mean? I think Harland also has a vested interest in our plight as well. All right, then I, I guess we got our plan. So what route are we taking? Are we going back from where we came, or...? Well, that seems to be the fastest <clears throat> way. Straight up north through Quincunsk, and then... Well, here's the thing. Instead of going through that death trap, could we go around it, since we're not in a cart? Ah, uh, no, no, no. That is ogre and goblin territory right there. Yes, so that's even more of a death trap than the roads. All right, well... I guess then, otherwise, yeah. It's the most direct route. <sighs> uh, straight shot. We should probably ask, uh, are you comfortable uh, taking these animals to the border? Uh, that was going to be my next question. Do you want me to return to Eastonvale with you? Or would you rather me remain here? Well, not here, here, but at least in Martorallo. Oh, I thought you made your stance quite clear on that. Would you be willing to go with us? <sighs> Maybe? There's no telling how much more the curse is going to go away once we cleanse this thing. That's true. I just, I don't know if I want to see the old lady again. I, I, uh, you, listen, you, don't, you don't have to see her, if that's what no, you're really worried about. But it's also a lot of undead. Getting out of there was really rough. I, I'm just trying to think, is it safe for me if we were to ride together? Would you want me to remain here and you take them and you go? I don't actually, you know what? No, I don't trust you with my birds. I want to keep my two birds. Um... Well, that changed fast. Well, I mean, you could They're... ride with us to the border and then turn back there. Is the border safe? I haven't been north for a while. I honestly think the border, once once you get near Quincunx, I think it's pretty safe. Like, they, do have that, uh, they do have that fortress full of clerics watching the border to Easton Vale. Oh, I want to stop back there again. Oh, actually, Can't I should reveal no some names real fast that you guys do have. You have other areas. Uh -oh. Apple bottom yeah. fields. Infinity. Did we get the town between uh, Martorallo and Mattiamond? Uh, I think we did, didn't we? Yes, you did. It was Rasco Air. Rasco Air. That's it was a shipbuilding town. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Yes. And it was the path between here and Rasco Air that was really dangerous, right? Uh, no. I'm I'm just using my own text. I'm sorry, Maddie I'm biased. Is dead. Oh, man. Maddie Amon is fine. I'm just Requiescat changing the text. And pasta. There you go. Oh, it's back. There Question still stands. I think it's between Maddie Amon and Quincunx, right? That's why we have the skull there with the animal. That, that was down. Fort Dorn. No, it, it was between Maddie Amon and Rasco Air. Rasco Air and Maddie Amon ah, yes. were very dangerous. Oh, we can, that's, we that's can that's rename Fort... that square Fort Dort. That's Fort Dort Z. <laughs> <laughs> Animals get it put down. That's Fort Dort. Is that what that is? And that's yep. Fort Dort Z. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the little tower is the Oops. farm, right? Yeah, no, yeah. no. That was the windmill house, yeah. Oh, right. You guys stayed right. at. Fart dart! Fart dart! <laughs> I love this map. We just gotta find Tomato Town now. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. There we go. There we go. Now we know. That's the Oh No Road. That is the Oh No Road. You're gonna wanna be careful going down Oh No Drive. There's rascals about. Why is that? Potholes. Potholes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, filled with bees. I I want to get on the road. Are are, are we right. ready to do you guys, to find you. birds first? You guys take a moment to rest, just kind of with some downtime, just kind of assessing your travel, and eventually, immediately, uh, not immediately, but uh, Osmir Harlan does return uh, with what appears to be a book bookie guy, like with like this kind of shrewd looking older gentleman with uh, thinning hair and with a kind of a clipboard and, and parchment kind of scrolls under the arm as he kind of moves forward. Um, and uh, Osmir Harlan, when he enters, you watch as who you now know as Rebu uh, stiffens upon the approach and immediately kind of re 
you know, acts a little bit more like, you know, stroking of the <laughs> arm and being rather, oh, Otho, my beloved, and oh, uh. <laughs> um, and you can see, like, you can, externally you see the performance, but internally you can just hear the screaming. <laughs> <laughs> the grip on the arm is just a little too tight. Is that Wait, picture... It- the picture of SpongeBob, you know, where he's calm in the chair, but like there's a, the half opaque yeah. screen face. Yeah, that's what I was saying with with ha- with fifty percent opa- opacity. Mm-hmm. Uh, and as Osmir Harlan enters, he goes, "So, I have collected a man who could help you um, collect things. I would recommend not buying too many things, as you probably want to be uh, post haste and within reason. Please." Um, I think first thing we're going to need transportation. Um, it, it was told to us by a reliable source that maybe Axe Speaks on an individual level would get us where we need to get going fastest. Axe Speaks? Most people prefer horses. I find that Axe Speaks are tend to be reserved for the um, eccentric, but if that is what you wish, <laughs> wait, then... Wait. Looks over to Molly. What's going on there? <laughs> I mean, the lips, also... the lips twitching a little bit. Just a Have little bit. Is getting tight. The grip is group? getting tighter. Yeah. Has he seen our group? We're the picture that shows up in the dictionary next to the word eccentric. <laughs> Wait, I, I, Monty, I have a hot question. Do war ponies exist? Yeah, I mean, they should. I Let me check. Do, do war axe beaks I think there is. I think there is a stats for war horse. There's war shake. horses. Those are expensive, though. They're also that's slower because they're, that, they're chonkier. They're that's what I'm looking for. Pony. I am small. Hell, I could ride a ma- uh, mastiff. If I want to get on a canine, I think the axe beaks are probably going to be faster and more widely available. That's fair. What do they do? We, did we discern what they eat? Yeah, they they were eating grass. And yes. Stuff. Okay, I wasn't sure if they grazed or not. They're they're basically livestock chocobos. Yep. Oh boy, this is the Final Fantasy With fourteen bigger, episode. With bigger, stupider faces and large beaks and eyes that go in two different directions. They're, they're actually literally... faster than horses. They yeah. are, yeah, but they're more they're. <laughs> A little more weird. An ostrich can outrun a horse. So. Oh no, they're weird. God, I wish I wish Aaliyah was here because Aaliyah knows how fast an axe beak can go by miles. And I don't know, I don't think they're around right now. I'd ask I them. Think they're, well, I think well their, their speed walking is like speed is 50 feet. feet. Right? Oh, yeah, 50 feet. Yeah, but their travel speed is different. That would be miles, right? Like in a day. Wow. And I, speed. I know that I know that's in Rhyme of the Frostman, but I'm in that campaign, so I, I can't look mm. at that book. Uh, but let me see what other <laughs> vehicle animals are available. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you right now that camel and elephant oh. are not available. <laughs> here, here we go. I just looked it up. Uh, axe beaks can gallop at six miles per hour. For how That's... long? Uh, let's say eight hours. So that's eight six times eight. So forty-two. So that's basically about. Three. I'm gonna say it's. I'm gonna say that's two, basically, um, from your position, two blocks forward. So I'm gonna say 32 miles, just to round it down. Well, 40. Or, it's 48 miles. Yeah, it's 48 miles. Did you say 40? 48. Oh, I I failed math class. Can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's and basically yet, three tiles. We're playing a very math intensive game. It's okay. I'm handling the map. It's all good. Monty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can I have a pony? Uh there are ponies. Um, uh, just keep it's in mind. Be a lot slower. Connor, because you're looking up the forbidden oh. knowledge I don't want to look at because of spoilers. You said that athletes go faster than horses and ponies. Is there uh there it's a they have a fifty foot movement speed and draft horses have a forty foot movement speed. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. Ponies got a forty foot movement speed. Yeah. Riding horses, though, have a 60-foot movement speed. But you are traveling with Rebu, who does not like horses. And we like Well, Rebu. they can fucking deal. Or, I don't know. We could just acquiesce. Are the Axe Beaks cheaper than horses, would you think? Uh, yeah, the, Axe... <clears throat> uh, the, the Axe Beaks are kind of in between. They're about 60 gold pieces. Oof. But you're not paying. You have a rich guy with a right. monocle yeah. Put it in on front the of you. Car. <laughs> how much? Well, how much? How much are horses? Just so we have a 
vibe. A a draft horse is fifty gold pieces. A riding horse is seventy five gold pieces. Yeah, they're mm. going to be more expensive because I think we're all. Here's Better. here's the here's the real zinger. A war horse is four hundred gold pieces. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. That's a pedigree I thing. Think, I think we're striking a good balance with the uh, with the axe beaks. They yeah. they move fast and it'll keep Rebu happy. I which uh, the only the only concern I would have is how skittish are they? Well, I mean, temperament is a is a per specimen thing, so when looking also, for them, we just want to select birds that aren't going to just run away. Ga Gaijin, listen. I, I think it's going to be way funnier if we ride on something that's akin to an emu. Can okay, so then, money. I have a I have a follow up question. Is there going to be an axe beak small enough for me? I mean, the better question is: Does an axe beak big enough for you? And the answer is yeah. You just need a okay. saddle in your size. That's it. Yeah, uh, I, also have to get, I also have to get up the damn thing, Mark. We can help you. You could buy a ladder. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> now I know how ladder. my wife. Now I know how I'm how my wife feels. I mm. will help you. We get a well trained one that can sit down and it'll loaf out so you can yeah, just climb over it. Yeah, it could sit down maybe. I'm I'm eyeing you. You can't see it, but I'm eyeing you very harshly. I'm also, fine. I just want to point out this is no, not a no. reason and this is not foreboding at all. Just think about which one would be the most delicious to eat if it were to die. No, no. <laughs> I was thinking more along would... the lines of which is going to be better in a fight. And I think the axe beaks are probably better fighters. Are they? Probably. I assume they have a claw attack. They've got a beak attack, which is an axe beak. And horses have kicks and I think a bite. But... <laughs> They horses don't, got, but they should. Horses got, <laughs> man, that's all they got. Horses yeah. have a bite attack? That's insane. They horses, should. They that should honestly, have a bite Mark is horses spitting facts. Horses should have really a bite hard. attack. I want a moose. A horse could bite your no, arm you don't. if it wanted. No, you don't. You do not want a moose. <laughs> Right. Well, okay, you're, you're concerned about you're concerned about getting on the axe beak, and you're like, oh, but I want a moose though, which is like a billion times it's like the height. Twice the height. <laughs> yeah, but oh, it's I wanna... uh, okay. You fucking you you all joke, but the moment that mo that someone just went, oh, there's an elephant. <laughs> yeah, Monty said we could not select an elephant. No, no. elephant allowed. <laughs> not by an I know, elephant. I, I know, okay. but the, this is this is Chris Zito personally just being like. Mm -hmm. I just want to point out, an elephant is 200 gold pieces as written. I know. It's it, right. yeah, oh, okay, okay. And then we have to worry about the fucking draft horse where we, we can go halfway on the elephant. <laughs> no, it's fine. We're not going over the Alps. We don't need elephants. Oh, Who right, cares? All right. All right look, <laughs> we're, we're spinning our wheels. Joke. I don't care what we do. Okay. Then let's get the Vax Beast. We're getting birds. All right. Uh, Osmir Harlan kind of... The the man with the clipboard goes, uh, yeah, axe speaks, and have you any particular preference as to uh, the temperament of the beast, the behavior of the beast? We've got several um, stables that sell a myriad of beasts. Uh, something that isn't gonna, I, I, I don't mean to use the metaphor, chicken out and run away. Very well, brave axe speaks. And you watch as he kind of scribbles with this just ridiculous plumed quill that just like wiggles to and fro as he writes. Uh, and uh, maybe ones who are good with untrained or unfamiliar writers. I will see to that. Yes, of course. And you watch as he kind of goes out. And you would show saddles for each of these. And uh, yes. Uh, yes, please. Yes. Saddles for each. Uh, okay, and a smaller fellow. Okay, he kind of notes it down really quickly and goes, "Yes, yes. Um, food, water, provisions. Uh, I've been also informed that perhaps uh, supplying with you some uh, myriads of of holy water would be beneficial for you." Yes, that would be amazing. Sorry. Very well. Uh, Ow. <laughs> we have a bucket, but I don't understand. It's holy water. It's weaponized liquid. All right. You you can't bless it. Um, was there any particulars? I perhaps could get a vial for each of you, um, five vials. Uh, is there any gods I particularly wish you to be blessed by, or is it, um... Oh, uh, probably, um, just, uh, I'm gonna putting jazz... one out there, Hoketh, I guess. I'm gonna jazz hands so hard. <laughs> would you like for all of them to be Hoketh, Holy Water, or would you like a mixture, or...? Uh, I prefer one of Orin, please. Thank you. All right. Okay. Oh, well, we can get one of Hoketh and one of Orin. Uh, if if I can, um, 
and he kind of looks sheepishly towards Milo and then back at the guy. Uh, is it possible to get one from Ilene? Absolutely. Oh, Absolutely. Big the goddess of the sun, or the moon, rather, the sun being on, and the moon being on, uh, yeah, can do. Absolutely. Milo gives you such a big yeah. thumbs up. Oh. I've really got a... a really got a huge choice in the matter, apparently. Would you like uh, two more? Would you... Any preferences? Uh, I just... <laughs> I almost said I just want mine orange flavored. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had to stop Sunny myself. Tea. Hey, All Milo, right. what kind of Kool Aid did you get today? Well, I didn't get no. I didn't get any Kool Aid. I got Sunny D. We the do D's have um, a new temple that just uh, built itself, a uh, temple to Oriara. We do have holy water to that god if it's of interest to you. Somewhere, uh, somewhere, we've got a small child screaming, Oriara. Oriara, what, what's, what god is that? It's a god of uh, craft work, time, and um, uh, anything that is not covered by the realm of Grumeth or uh, the Rosia. Jewelry, uh, cocks, um, things like that. Uh, like that I one mean, friend that we made. It can hurt to have the variety, right? Maybe we might find if one is better than the other. Uh, Monty, would I know that holy water specifications would or may or may not work on different targets? So above board, um, and you would know this, Milo in particular, but I'll just say this above board just for mechanical purposes. <clears throat> if you are incur encountering something that has, like, either it's a demon or it's a, a, basically an agent of an evil god that is opposite to a good god, not only will the holy water have its natural properties, but it can sometimes also do damage and have additional things, like, makes it super strong, essentially. Yeah. So a good example of that would be, um, not to alienate the viewer base, because we have some people, this is the first campaign. Uh, let's say Orin, for example. Um, the opposite to Orin would be Noct, the god of darkness. So if you, say, were fighting a, basically, darkness demon, and you were to throw, throw Orin holy, holy water on it, it might have beneficial effects to it. Uh, that's so, why Oath so, got the Ho that's, that's why Oath got the Ho Keth. Uh, uh, that's water. fair. That's fair. Then, then yeah, I, I, for practical purposes, I'll, I'll swap Now, it doesn't always work. That's the thing. Um, <clears throat> it's not a guarantee, but it's just like it can happen depending on the circumstance. I'm I mean, I've taken my Illinois holy water. Yeah, I guess. You yeah, wanna, you know what? I'm going to represent. Well, I'll all right. Well, I'll add one more hoke to the last slot there. So okay. just to note it down, you guys may spread, share this as you wish. We have two bottles of hoke holy water. You need to note down which god it is. So it's hoke. I'm writing them down. We have a bottle of Orin holy water, a bottle of Ilone holy water, and a bottle of Oriara holy water. I will take the Orin. Well, don't speak up all at once, gang. Yeah, yeah, everyone. Gaius has one. no fucking idea how any of the gods work, nor does he care. So it's like I don't, I don't care. Just give me whichever one you want. Yeah. Otho's putting two and two together. He's saying Lynn is a Hoketh lady. Maybe Hoketh has special undead properties. It's also it, it, worth noting. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was gonna say, uh, here, guys. You just hang on to that one. Uh, he's gonna hand you the Oriaro one. To Gaius? Yes. All right. Gaius, is, you take the bottle? I, I mean, like, I, I unfortunately didn't, like, have a chance to, like, speak up because I wasn't sure. I was going to say if there was going to be one, Gaius would have just fucking asked for uh, a god that brings battle, but he doesn't know. Okay. Ugh. You want to replace, then, as you say that, the, the man with the clipboard kind of goes, we do have um, some holy water of... Uh, 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 I forgot my own god's names. What the fuck? Vetrion. Vetrion, thank you. Oh my god. Sorry, I was thinking of Ganache, and I'm like, that's the wrong one. Oh, that no. is definitely the wrong one. Uh, Here's some holy have... water of Ganache. It's just white <laughs> gunk. <laughs> Ugh. We do have, um, water? <laughs> we do have holy water of uh, Vetrion, a uh, patron of, of, of battle and, and honor through combat, if that interests you. Oh, yes, it does, by all means. <laughs> There you are. He hands uh, it to you. 
Kai, I guess you would want Hokath? Uh, you, you can hang on to it. No, I've, I've got one already. I mean, uh, two's always better than one. Okay, if you're sure. Who's got the best throw? Actually, guys, you got the strongest throwing arm of all of us. <laughs> Gee, guys, mom. Goat yeah. noises. Gee, Billy, why did why did Violet you have two holy waters? Ga Ga Gaius is just sitting there, just like I don't know. I the so, gods Ga are not my wheelhouse. Uh, guys, you don't have to worry about that. Basically, what happens is is that if something uh, of of an evil agent of a of an evil god, uh, you take this, you chuck it at them, and uh, they might explode. Gaius just shrugs and holds his hand out, he guesses. Okay. He is, he is so fucking lost in all of this. It's just like, here's gods. I don't know any of this. We just put the gods in a bottle, and now you can walk around with them. And yeah, then the gods portable. make them explode. Yeah. So we have, just to confirm, this is we have one... one character, by the way, because, you know, minus one to religion. Oh, no, it's fine. Yeah. Welcome, like a Poe. Uh, so you guys have a bottle of Hoketh, Orin, Ilone, Oriara, and Vetrion holy water. You may disperse them whenever you want to. We don't have to sit on this for now. Uh, yeah. But the man with the clipboard kind of turns. Osmir Harlan at this point is kind of sitting down and is enjoying a nice hard drink. Uh, as the man goes, uh, yes, additional provisions. Is there anything in particular? Rations, water. Um, you are traveling on saddleback, so you might not have enough, uh, a lot of carrying uh, capacity, but... Uh, do we need a new bucket? I'm sorry, a bucket? Why would... Who has the bucket? the fuck me? I what? said, do we need a new one? Don't get Why all offended. Why need a new one? What's wrong with this one? How how gamey is it at this point, Monty? It's just, it's got character. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, at least you're on my side, Jen. <laughs> That's the appropriate response. Christ. <laughs> it's got character. Um, if there is something else that maybe I could carry, I, I can make order on the goal, but I gotta have something to put it in. Well, we have a yeah, bucket. I'd, I'd like something a bit more in the bucket. If we lose the bucket, we're, we're kind of stuck. Would you like a barrel, perhaps a small one? I, if we could carry it, I, I think that'd be fine. You could strap it to a saddle. It's it's not a large one. It's like a little one. Sometimes we put them on mastiffs. They carry um, saddles and things. Oh, so like a little top. Sure. Yes. Yes. Like uh, what you see at a bar. Yes. All right. Th that'd be good. All right. So I can get that for you. Of water. So that many, and and rations. How many rations do you all need? Uh, I am inventory. How many did we have at the start of this journey? <laughs> I have because four. <laughs> Because I have eight. Um, uh, honestly, just as, as many as you could probably get us. Where we're going, there's not going to be a lot of food. Ten each, would that suffice? Yes. Did yeah, you want to say something, Zito? Uh, no, it, it's fine. I was just going to tell my number. Okay. I will see that uh, ten rations are procured for uh, each of you. I think that that is uh, fair, um, Osmir. And you watch as Osmir Harlan goes. That will do, unless there is anything immediately that you have need of. I think that might be sufficient for our journey. Excellent. And um, will your you and your lady friend be residing tonight in uh, my home? <laughs> the I side eye Rebu. Oh, oh no! I should, I should return home. My father is, well, my father is out at the moment, but I'd rather be home when he returns. Yes, plus it wouldn't do for you if wouldn't want any other untrue rumors to go around. Mm. I see. Well, be sure to escort her home. <clears throat> Of course. Very well. Well, I'll have dinner made, and we shall eat, and, um, well, you'll be off in the morrow, I'm sure. 
Unless, do you intend to leave now? It is nightfall. It might be quite dangerous to travel at this time. No, that, I think that's a bad idea. I agree. I'd rather you stay the night and then head out early in the morning. Oh! Uh... I, I did have something for you, actually. Do you? Um, here. It, it's not much. Uh, I'm gonna give him one of the candle of colors. Takes it. He looks at it, he goes, Oh. I, I know it's not anything special, but I was able to find these candles at an Orin temple. And, um, I, I just hope Orin's light can guide your path as he led us to you and everyone else who's helped us on this journey. You watch as silently Osmir Harlan kind of rises to his full stature, kind of giving that old man kind of like, mm, kind of groan as he gets up. He kind of walks over to the mantle and you watch as he kind of like with the back of two of his fingers kind of pushes away like this really nice decorative dagger and kind of like just slightly nudges it aside and nudges some other things aside and then places it right over top of the mantle and kind of steps back, admires it, admires it, kind of cocks his head and then kind of slightly gestures it over, nods and turns back and goes, I think it quite, um, he completes the place. Thank oh, you. He's so he, happy to hear that. <laughs> and he gives you a he gives you that he gives you a genuine grandpa smile. Oh yeah, mm. I love this those. guy. This guy is a dragon, right? Can we all just agree? <laughs> he has a hoard. <laughs> he has a hoard of gifts that people bring him, and he, he displays might just them. he might just be an eccentric man who likes things, Mark. No, he's a dragon. Does uh, Mark? You've seen my place. Does that make me a dragon? Yes. Oh. Oh no. Holy shit. Hey everyone, Gaijin Dragon I here. I fucking knew it! Dragon Goomba. <laughs> God, what's my breath weapon? <laughs> Shurikens? Pure Japanese lore. I was gonna say lightning, but I don't think anyone's gonna get that joke. He's an I could make a joke, but I don't want to make it, because no. I would make you Raijin Goomba. <laughs> Raijin oh, no. Goomba, yeah. I love it. <laughs> no, I don't want to say it, but I also want to say it. I can't. Then just say it. Then Do it, just, Monty. Just tell You'll us in text. Your, bre your breath weapon has been reversed, and that's why you can pee so fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm sorry. This special fun. dragon does not have a breath attack, but rather a piss attack. <laughs> However... <laughs> I, I have a dedicated piss button. <laughs> Let's In move on, emergency. shall we? All right. So you guys, unless there's anything pressing you wish to do, you guys enjoy a very delicious dinner. Um, it appears oh. to be like like quail, like roast quails for everybody, like just a mountain oh, of wow. quails. With How much like, like chicken does it look? It, it looks like really tiny chickens. Mm, I'll You're gonna... have the bread. You're gonna have to chick get over your chicken stigma one of these days. No. You're gonna be riding on one the entire way. There's also yeah, a delightful like you think it's like a chickpea soup, but it's like a like all sorts of different lentils and things mixed together in a very, very rich, creamy kind of sauce. There is a uh, mixed salads with like exotic vegetables from other countries, as well as for dessert, there's like a bunch of fruit from like various different countries, including these like really bizarre long yellow fruits that like are weirdly squishy inside. It's very strange. Uh, nanas. Um, yeah, nanners and uh, what the yeah. fuck are these? They're plantains, obviously. They're radioactive. <laughs> they commit murder suicide. Fun fact about bananas. They're all clones of the same banana. Kill banana. As you guys drink and eat, and by the way, Otho, this is probably the best wine you're gonna have for a while. <laughs> yeah. Osmir kind of. <laughs> places down his cup and he goes and by the way Rebu, who's in the form of this you know of of molly aberdeen uh is very much enjoying the food and you see the struggle between wanting to gorge and also trying to keep up appearances <laughs> <laughs> but uh Ozimir harlan kind of places down a glass and he goes hmm I believe I might even share in Winona's sentiments. It has been a, quite the delight having you, brief as it has been. I just wish it was under better circumstances. Ah, these things do happen, but I am happier for the chance nonetheless. Um, he kind of, you know, as he kind of like, his servant comes by and kind of collects his plate, and he kind of knows, like, thank you. He comes back and he goes, 
before I retire for the evening and um, before you leave, if I do not see you, I do hope you help Lynn. I know that is that you are doing now, but I do not know how long this venture will go. Uh, just know this. Lynn can be rather cagey and has led a life of some misfortune in her past, but her intentions have always been noble and true. And know that if she has incurred quite a bit of faith within you, that that is quite the boon. She's always been a bit of a mystery, but um, she's never led us wrong. <laughs> yeah, if it she's wasn't been... for her, I never would have been able to come back and see this place again. She is rather prickly, but good intention. When you see her, tell her that I wish her the best and that I am sorry that I could not see her before her death. Did... You want us to bring her anything? You know what? I will pen a letter. And I will see that it ends up in your hands before the morrow. All right. He stands up and kind of brushes his, his arms. He goes, I will take my lead of you. Have a good night and uh, no rambunctious parting in my house, please. And he kind of gives a smile. Uh, oh. Thank you for letting us stay in your home. Certainly. You've been wonderful guests. He kind of begins to walk out, and as he leaves, Amelia, as the door closes, Ruby goes, finally, and just grabs, like, just grabs. <laughs> just, she grabs suddenly Ruby Goku at the dinner table. Just, just yeah. with, in one swift motion, the corset just... <laughs> just <laughs> <great>. <laughs> the button just shoots off and ricochets off the wall, taking out the servant. Oh. No. <laughs> while while Rabu's just oh. utterly stuffing his uh, stuff in his face, you know, I was I was kind of curious. If you're in a different form, do you have a different metabolism and, and hunger and and things like that? It doesn't go anywhere. It's the best part. Oh, I so, can make myself look like anything. I as was... long as it's like the same relative size, like I can't turn into you because you're kind of no offense, you're kind of uh, shorter. I mean, that's what I am. Nothing to be ashamed mm -hmm. of. How exactly does all of this work, anyway? That's a good question. Don't know. Kind of had to figure this one out on my own. I read books and stuff, but, you know. So you can just change into anyone that's relatively your size. You watch as Rebu kind of looks side to side and kind of... For a moment, immediately you watch as the form switches to you, Otho. You are in a dress and a corset and like a whole like <laughs> attire. Wow. I'm Otho Valentinius. I must uh, need you to uh, warn important political figures about my problems forthwith. Chop, chop. Oh, God. It's that. Like it's like there's two of them in the same room. Uh, that is quite I don't know a which sight. One to shoot. <laughs> you watch as their form shifts again and you see Gaius now sitting in a dress and currently with two you know two quails in each hand going you think i could punch these i can't do your voice i'm sorry it's very difficult <laughs> you're so deadpan wow Gaius, I, I didn't know you'd fill that dress out so well which holds up an axe <laughs> <laughs> merely turns back into molly aberdeen all right all right you get the point listen i feel like we've known each other this long and though you did not intend it i did kind of hear about all your baggage no offense. Uh, that's and fine. if we're going to be in what I assume to be a longer relationship and not the one that this is, you know, points towards you, Otho, and kind of does like a, mm, mm, I mean, like in a business relationship or like, a, I don't know, a mutual beneficial relationship, a symbiotic relationship. I don't know. You know what I'm talking about? Like we're, we're helping each other out in a way. We're working together. We're working together, yeah. So we're partners. Sure. That seems like a very intense term, but... You're saying a lot of words that just mean friend. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, sure, friend is fine. Though Otho definitely... Uh, challenged that. 
More than friends. <laughs> he no. says dramatically. <laughs> no, we are not. <laughs> we are friends. And I feel it only fair that I tell you, but I will say this. There are those out there in the world that would skin me alive. So let's maybe keep this little secret between all of us. No, I'm just curious. Do you mean that literally or figuratively? I mean that literally, yes. Ah. Well, that's terrifying. Oh, yes. Well... Apparently wizards uh, find use for my kind in several different horrifying ways. You know, that makes me wonder, do you have an original form? When I was a child, yeah. Hmm. Wait, right. but then... so... So the form, we met you and you just sort of crafted that? I met this guy. And he was a huge asshole. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what I thought would be funny. Turn into him and ruin his life? No, turn into him and be a better person. Oh, that's much and better. Then, yeah. Thought it would be good revenge in a weird kind of way, but I won't lie. He was, you know, this my original rule well, for you, the original look, quotation marks. I mean, I don't know. It's unassuming. Most people don't tend to look at it. Plus, it's pretty good looking. I think it fits my personality the best. But on occasion, so I like to swap around. So, Rebu Esfres is your name. It yes. is, yes. Your real name. It is, yes. Okay. Guess you don't need to go around with the, that whole rigmarole again. No, the name is the original. I mean, it's my mother's name, so I want to keep it. Hmm. All right, that's fine with me. Good. Now, it stands up. I would like to return this dress and not wear it anymore. All right, I guess, suppose that is my cue, gentlemen. I'll, uh, I'll make sure our maps are all up to date. Well, darling, let's be off. Of course, darling. <laughs> you watch as Rebu reaches over and, like, stuffs some of the bread in the pocket. <laughs> Stop it, dinner want you rolls. To take the rolls. <laughs> you watch, like, without breaking eye contact, just reaches behind them and just grabs a bottle of wine and just hands it to Gaius and goes, Save that for me for later. <laughs> Thumbs up. Don't get jumped. Oh, I have a strong, handsome man to protect me. He just slaps your face twice, kind of like in a <laughs> silly manner. Well, now that I think about it, has already been kidnapped once. Are you sure you don't want someone to go with you? I think I'll be fine. I... Now that I'm in the city, I don't, I don't think anything will happen to me. All right. Besides, I have a knife. <laughs> well, he's got to come do back I. on his own. <laughs> oh, we're such a perfect couple, aren't we? Go, move. <laughs> oh, boy. You guys begin to make your way out. As the rest of you jot down your map, kind of take assessment of your rations, which all of you do get ten rations each. Sick. They're like nice they're like nice rations too. There's like bougie rations for like noble people when they're out. You know, dried mm. fruits. This is it's Boston. This is great. Um Boston? <laughs> I don't know. I was thinking of some Did you ism. Say Boston? <laughs> I don't know. I, like Boston. I don't know. Hell, hell yeah, like, dude. Monty's creating colloquialism. <laughs> creating new lingo. Boston. She. <laughs> is it Boston? What is the word? No, Boston is something completely different. Oh. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. All right, my bad. It's yeah. There you go. Anyway, uh, Otho, as you walk with Rebu arm in arm, um, some heads turn, but like most of them are like, oh my, like it's very like very like noble oh women out on the town, like oh, goodness gracious. Um, eventually, as you reach the estate, arm in arm, Rebu kind of stops you and goes, I need you to ask for a specific, uh, you need to find, uh, 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 Walter. You need Walter. Ask for Walter. I'm going to hide Walter? in the shrub. Ask for Walter at the door. 
Walter. I'm gonna hide this drop. Right. Walter, put I your will... knife away. <laughs> <laughs> you tell will, Walter uh... that you have the delivery that he was expecting. Alrighty. I will, uh, I'll approach the residence. Okay. You approach the residence. It is a <laughs> bougie-ass house with, like, tacky, tacky hedges that are cut in the, the literally, like, the head, you know, like, those, um, oh, gosh, what do you call them? They're, like, the little statuettes of, like, a person's bust, like, a bust of a person. I think mm -hmm. A bust. A yeah, literally a bust. There are carvings in the bust of who you assume is Master Aberdeen, like the, the man of the of the house, and then across from it is probably the wife, and then there's like a third, which is you recognize as uh Molly, and then like the fourth is like a dog, you're not sure. Oh my god. Um, it's really just such a waste of money. Um and then the dog but... is a plaque that says better Molly. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> That's environment storytelling. I've ever seen it. Can't believe the <laughs> fucking man of the house is Cotton Hill. <laughs> as you oh. walk up, man. <laughs> as you walk up, the door knocker uh, is like in the. It's basically like again, really tacky. It's like two swords that are like curved, they look like two scimitar blades, but they're like they have a knocker in the center. Okay, I will go up and. The door opens, and you see, uh, standing in the frame of the door, like, the, just imagine the most butler butler who've ever, who's ever butlered, but they're an elf, and they're tall and lean and thin as a rail. Mustache, kind of, like, if, if they had a mustache, it would be amazing, but they're an elf. Uh, instead, they have a very, like, sort of poised, sort of, like, perched look on their face, and they go, oh, Yes, how can I help you this evening, sir? Uh, good afternoon to you, sir. I have a delivery for Walter. Walter. Ah. Uh, I see. I'm not aware of uh, a servant with that name. G give me a, but a moment, sir. Uh, please, uh, the waiting area is you're welcome to. Of course. Thank you very much. He leads you in. If you thought the outside was gaudy, the inside is worse. The railings are of a, you, they look almost gold upon first glance, but they're probably not gold. They're probably made with like some sort of brass that's been polished. Uh, there's a massive crystal chandelier of shimmering like glass with light candles flickering within. The floors are this like just, just beautiful marble that is just wasted on a floor. And inside there is a couch with red velvet, and there are bottles of wine resting next to it, and there are giant, massive framed paintings. You see uh, Master and Mr. and Mrs. Aberdeen currently prim and proper uh, looks to them, and kind of sitting between them with just the most despondent look is who you imagine is Molly Aberdeen, currently just like looks exasperated in the painting. And yes, there is a dog. <laughs> there is a weird kind of lab, like fluffy lab dog that uh. you see. Better Molly. Better Molly. <laughs> <laughs> Molly too. Eventually you see coming down the stairs at a somewhat quickened pace, a much shorter uh, butler, um, sort of very thin mustache, uh, you know, combed back hair. And immediately they walk up and go, yes, you're asking for Walter. Yes, uh, I have a delivery for one Walter. Good, I will come outside and collect the delivery then. Thank you very much. Perfect. I also have something to exchange. I believe you have to deliver as well, and they wink very obviously. Ah, yes, of course. Good, I will fetch it then. And they disappear for about a moment and then return with what appears to be a, uh, like a small chest box. If you would not mind, my good sir. Uh... <laughs> I'll take the chest box. Okay, you take it. And you lead, her, lead him outside? Yeah, I lead him outside. All right. As you lead them outside, you make your way out. Emerging from the bushes comes uh, Rebu, now in there with the form that you're most used to. Still wearing the dress currently. And Rebu kind of sighs and goes, Well, Otho, you actually did a pretty good job. How's it going, Molly? And you watch as the butler kind of rustles the hair and wipes the mustache off and goes... It has been days. How long does it take to warn a rich person? Oh, my, my. That is quite the trick. I assume 
in that case, you are the true uh, Molly. I am Molly Aberdeen, but sometimes I'm Walter the butler who goes around town and does chores. It's fun. Well, I read you. Molly, it is a pleasure to finally meet you in person. Yeah, yeah, yeah whatever, stuffy rich man. How are you doing, Rebu? You watch as he kind of like comes out and goes, ah, you know, I'm just going to get out of your corset real fast. <laughs> you watch oh. as he's just like, he's changing and like, you know, the box. That's his clothes. You're going to have to give Rebu his clothes. Yes, I'll, I'll go over and then just wanting to get out of here as soon as possible, just. The Give shrub rustles and... frantically as you just see, like, <laughs> dresses thrown out. Yeah, like, cartoonishly, <clears throat> you just see the dress being thrown out and is caught by by who you now know as Molly. And she's now actually currently, like, kind of somewhat disrobing. They're all kind of hidden in, like, this weird garden area where they're all <laughs> currently kind of swapping Everybody's clothes. Everybody's just taking their clothes off around Otho. <laughs> uh... He's just like, okay, I'm just going to should never around. have taken that trip to the shrubbery of disrobing. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually, as time goes on, and a few averted gazes later, the two of them are returned, and she kind of looks over, and she goes, you ate food while in the corset, didn't you? And Rebu kind of shrugs slyly, and she goes, you are... What was your name again? Otho. Otho, Otho Valentinius. Oh. oh, you're Brutus's son. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that'll do. My father has been on my case all the time about finding suitors and, you know, rumors of uh, rendezvous. And Rebu kind of, like, gives a coy look. So I have been made aware of. I hope you don't mind. It certainly removes a lot of pressure off of my back. And, in turn, your warning went off without a hitch. You're welcome. It's so fun. I love your life, Rebu. It's so exciting. Well, it's about to get a bit more exciting in the coming days. I suppose this is the price to pay for expediency and secrecy. Well, when Rebu came here demanding, uh, using my identity, I thought it only fair that I have some assistance in return. Sorry, nothing in Martyrolo is free. No, I suppose it's not. Anyway, Rebu, how long are you going to be gone for? And you see them kind of begin a conversation that's a little a little saucy. And eventually, the two of them kind of, you know, part with a farewell kiss. And Rebu kind of strides up next to you and goes, we should probably get out of here before the guards show up. Right. Let's go. And he kind of begins to trot forward. And Molly kind of gives a bow and, and heads yes. back to the front of the door. He'll bow back and he'll, he'll turn and walk with Rebu in the streets. Is that really the air I give off? Stuffy rich guy? You are wearing a cravat. That is Got true. Got him. <laughs> Damn! Rebu Fuck. taking him out at the knees! Fucking got his ass. You wouldn't gave it away the cravat of my striped bed pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've known plenty a Talentura worshipper that wears striped pants, but the cravat? <laughs> Only a rich boy wears those. Or someone well, trying to be a rich boy, which you're not doing. Mm, At least he's no. not fake. <laughs> My time in the courts, I guess, gave me a certain air about me. It's contagious, really. Well, I'm so sorry for that. <laughs> don't apologize to me. I don't care. Molly's particular. I mean, no offense, but she prefers, you know. She likes what she More likes. of the uh, down to earth sort, I suppose. More of the well traveled, looks good on the back of an axe beak, has stories to tell. You know, I met her in town. That's how we actually met. I was telling stories, and, you know, things happened. Conclusions mm. were made, and we meet every now and again. And so now I'm to play the third wheel in your little tryst. Oh, no. Uh, for all intents and purposes, you are me in the situation. These secret soirees and these rumors of a, a, a beautiful woman hanging out with a pauper have now been squandered and ruined by your presence, and her father will be only but delighted. Of course, 
a sad breakup and rolling Ascara later, I'm sure that sort of thing could be mediated at a later date. Hearts are fickle, after all, especially amongst nobles. They need things to talk about. He just sort of gets more of a blank expression at that. Man, you do not get out much, do you? Anyway, well, could say now that... that I got out too much. <laughs> <laughs> well, that being said, tomorrow morning we got Axe Beaks and we have a whole country to cross before we get back to the border of Eason Vale. I... I suppose you're more in this than you initially thought. To be honest with you, I've been in it for quite some time. Kind of slows his pace a little bit. I did not want to tell your companions upon our first meeting, but I feel though now, if we are friends, as you've truly said, and especially since, well, you know my secret and I know several of yours now, and I won't lie, I can tell just by your body posture that you're probably a bit nervous about this current state of affairs with Molly Aberdeen. I actually knew Lynn before she died as well. Really? Mm-hmm. What were you doing in Matarallo? Well, it was the quickest way out from where I was brought back. I was on my way to Matarallo before I died. Not, not is... Matarallo, Salo. What were you doing in Eason Vale? Well, how do I explain this? Lynn had need of my services pretty regularly. Granted, not to the extreme extent that you need it, but on occasion she needed, uh, you know, a chauffeur. And she's quite the powerful person. Probably the best Hoketh cleric in the world, amongst he other things. sort of narrows his eyebrows, looks down at the floor, and then looks back at the Rebu. So you were in Eason Vale for Lynn? Yes. She's one of my many regular clients. That uh, Sending Stone was hers before. When I she brought me back to life. Hmm? I thought Lynn was dead before the Ash Plague. She was, yes. Didn't mean I didn't have other business in Eastonvale. Besides, on occasion, I like to visit her grave. As tragic as it was, her burial was pretty, pretty good. I suppose I should clarify. I was in Eastonvale at the time of its, you know, not for yes, Lynn specifically, I... but my initial goings about in Eastern Vale were because of Lynn. Oh, in an in indirect sort of way. More or less, yeah. I mostly I work in uh, Eastern Vale, definitely in Matarallo. I mean, rich people pay a lot of money for a good chauffeur. Occasionally Athel, but usually in the southern side, and Hearthlin every now and again. But I avoided that place because of the war, so, you know. And so Lynn's sudden reappearance was just as much a surprise to you as it was to the rest of us, suddenly oh, reappearing. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Well, I mean, surprising as everything else was, considering I died. I mean, we died. I can't imagine, though. I imagine, I mean... I don't know how it was when you talked to her, but she was eerily calm. <laughs> if I were her, I would have been just, the wrath would be overwhelming, but sometimes people get so mad it goes full circle, and I almost wonder that's what is going on for her. Well, evidence to the contrary, looking at you and me and the rest of my companions, and it's not every day that somebody comes back from the other side, especially after that long. We were only gone for a year. I don't even know how long she must have been. I don't know. Away. But that sort of thing, it doesn't 
leave you untouched? No. He kind of raises a hand and grips it, and he goes, You feel it, don't you, deep inside? It's like it's not completely gone. It's like something's still there, like a, like a rock in your gut. I feel... Cold, sometimes. Anyway. You watch as he walks up the steps of Osmir Harlan's estate. The two guards kind of stop him and he goes, oh, I'm sorry, uh, Otho. Relax, um, gentlemen. Uh, he's with me. They kind of shing, bring the sword back and go, uh, with all due respect, Master Valentin, who is he? Uh, this is a good friend of mine, a uh, uh, chauffeur that was putting me and my friends around town. Understandable. You must have to do with the mounts that you've procured. Apologies. Indeed. Quite. No, it's all right. You're simply doing your jobs. Have a good night, you two. As the door opens and as you enter, the door closes and Ruby goes, Oh, God, I preferred the other form. At least the welcome was a bit nicer. Well, being a stuffy rich kid isn't all it's cracked up to be. I'm learning that. <clears throat> As you guys open up the dining room door and the rest of you are all pouring over the map. Rebu enters now in his normal appearance, at least normal, but you know him as. Uh, and as he enters inside and kind of leans over the map, he goes, well, how are we all feeling? Like I'm ready for bed and ready to start off in the morning. Four new axe beaks. He smiles a huge smile. <laughs> Four new axe beaks. Does a little just, dance. I'm just hoping there aren't more undead attacks in the middle of the night before we leave. Well, I mean, the land guards seems to have it quite handled, but I would be more concerned about the undead between here and Eastonvale. Or even the undead in Eastonvale. More for you, less for me. Indeed. Who knows what sort of... About... Go ahead. It was that I wasn't worried about those two. <sighs> well... I'm ready to go to sleep. Wait, you're uh, staying here? Yeah, I assume so. I literally have nowhere else to stay. I don't think that's going to be a problem. I don't think... Osla Mare will <clears throat> stick his nose up at our chauffeur staying with us for the night. Especially when you need such a expedited retreat out of the city in the following morning. So, you know... Mm. Gaius, you the wine? Know better than I would. Gaius looks up from his book as he's writing. Oh, yes, here. I pass up the wine. Pass he takes wine. it, corks it, and just drinks straight out of the bottle. And it's like, Otho, it's like real fancy stuff. Like, real good yeah. stuff. If he's and just he's... shaking his head back and forth, just... He takes a drink and he goes, Whoa, okay, this is coming with me. As you all are pouring over your maps and kind of figuring out and folding things up and eventually heading to bed. Uh, rolling. I don't fold my maps. Oh, I'm very sorry. <laughs> I fold mine. There's a, there is a scene from Paranoia Agent where the guy takes the animation cell. He's supposed to take it to the fucking painter and he folds it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he so he fucking fold, horrible. He folds it eight times in front of the guy who just finished the painting. Oh, I was sitting horrible. there just like, wow, I I know several people who would kill you on the spot <laughs> for doing that. Yeah, sorry, I just wanted to set the record straight. He's, he's a professional <laughs> map maker. You know, just want to make sure. Fair enough. 
<laughs> as you guys reside to your feather down beds and and opulent like extra and opulent but but still relatively quaint the, the comforters are quite extra but everything else is you know rather rather pleasant uh otho kai i need you guys to make perception checks for me please oh god and here are the assassins <laughs> <laughs> they found us! Da -da -da. i swear you have one affair and <laughs> <laughs> no Oh god. And then Kai, can mm -hmm. I get a perception check, please? That is Kai. Oh, three. And then O3. Here I go. Ten. Oh. In the middle of the night, Otho. Your eyes kind of snap open and you kind of just find yourself <laughs> sitting up awake. And once again, you can't shake that feeling like you're being watched. And as you slowly settle back into bed. The dark of night taking you. The snoring of Rebu on the couch. <laughs> that sort of creeping eye in the back of your neck staring into you. The morning dawns. Gear is prepared. Breakfast is eaten. Toast, I imagine, is made. Absolutely. Excellent. And as you step out the front doors to a set of six axe beaks, including Schlorf and Hidian, that is where we're going to end the session for tonight. Oh, oh boy. shit. Yeah. Bye, Austin. Bye, Bye Austin. Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. It's a, a gentle lead back into the campaign because we've been gone for a month. So, yeah. Yeah. Here's, here's a bunch back, of zombies. Everybody. We did it. We survived. Episode 20. Oh boy. The real question is Do we make it to episode 20 win? No, we die. Or are we just going to start the next episode as 22 and just be like, oh, episode, the lost episode 21 just never Why would happened. we do that, Mark? Just to be <laughs> the funny. Especially after the, the mythos building up over <laughs> 21. Over the course of five years, how are going to let that one go? Is just how could you, Mark? Us to do? So yeah, next week you guys have travel and axe beak back, and oh. uh, you guys can move essentially forty-eight miles a day with the axe beaks. Sick, yes. nice. Which means That's... literally in one day you could reach Rasco Air. Amazing. Hell Three yeah. days of travel in one day. Let's go. Unless we get stopped by ogres. Mounts are fun. Oh. Like, actual having mounts is good. You just have to protect them and keep them alive. And these we'll are... You have to are, make are animal handling per checks the whole time. Are these permanent or are these rented? No, they're bought for you. Yeah. Oh, shit. Time to think of names. Oh, my God. Yeah, think it's of, think of Axe Speaks names week. for next week, you guys. Red shirt. I'm gonna... <laughs> wow. Red shirt. Doom your bird. Okay, I'll name him, but only after you describe them to us. So okay, yeah, I'll describe to them to us... you. But just think of single, think of some fun names. Yeah, and then we'll have to have very <laughs> detailed understandings of which one is whose. I just I clicked over to chat just in like some of the name suggestions. Like someone yeah. just has it in all caps beef. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Umber, Umbertastic. Umber, Umbertastic has just beef in all caps. I love, it. I love that name. I would beef. totally name it. I would name an axe beef beef. I think I named oh. mine in. Uh, what did I name mine in? In Rhyme of the Frost. I think I named it Turkey Legs, right? No. Yeah, you you did name it Turkey Legs. I, I forget what I named legs. my axe beak. Yeah. Something pretentious. I think you guys need like what, like two of them lunch and dinner, which is just old hat. But I'm like, nah, oh. mine's turkey legs. Yeah, I named I named my axe beak Firebolt. I'm that's gonna... right, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call him Knife Face. <laughs> Ezekiel, no. Ezekiel, Ezekiel. <laughs> I, my name is Ezekiel. That is me. I I am. I'm the we sheriff. Gotta burst. Well, <laughs> well, no. Welcome back, everybody. Next session is more travel. I'm so excited. This is kind of the cleanup episode where you guys make your way back yeah. to shore. And, yeah. and, you know. Rebu, by the way, the Rebu thing, I'm just like, I had to literally figure out how the fuck he was going to warn Ozimir Harlan because he does not no, look like hilarious. a trustworthy <laughs> sort. Yeah, so I he had to find a way. I not this at all. That's a very, like, 
I, I I was pretty sure it was going to be like another several episodes before we knew anything more about Rebu. So I was very surprised. Oh yeah, I kind you kind of forced his hand in this situation because he had no other like he's like I have no other avenue to do this and this well, is like we didn't know super he couldn't serious. Just like walk up and be like, hey, Otho sent me a message. Yeah. Like, well, he he did get a he did get a out though with this. Yeah, he he definitely got something good out of it. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or should I I'd say, say got... one good out of it? Yeah. Let's see, he, he got the. Uh, an equal and uh, an equal deal here. We've we've got a chauffeur and he's got a fucking scapegoat. Yeah. At the end of this, okay. he okay, and I Molly may... are gonna ride Axe Beaks off into the sunset. I, I may have a legit ass name for the bird. <laughs> also, Monty. Uh huh. This is now two changelings that are using my character's forms to do awful things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. It They're is not now using your, your form at all. They're just using you specifically, which is worse, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're doing the awful things. You're doing the thing. It's 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 Molly who's that was her brilliant plan, honestly. You're the terrible one. His original plan is he was just gonna borrow a dress from her and pretend to be some random noble woman, but then she's like, hey, wait a minute, hold on, I got an idea. <laughs> wait, 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 I had a great idea. God damn it, Molly. She's and the, then we actually the fall in love over the course of the campaign, and then he gets like a, a, a juicy <laughs> romantic subplot. Ooh, no. <laughs> I like how quickly you said no. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think I'm just tired, but I keep hearing Molly, and I keep thinking Molly Ringwald. Molly Ringwald? I'm, I'm just never mind. Don't worry that's, about that's it. That's the I, romantic I, interest I, of. I, uh, I mean, I don't want to sound mean, but like. <laughs> <laughs> What's I, wrong, Mark? She not good enough? Uh, just it, you know. What is it, Zito? For rep? Nah, it's fine. Joke's over. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Oh man. With that, we should probably do our outroductions. Uh, Gaijin, where can they find you? What are you up to? Uh, horsing around with this new headset that sucks really bad. Uh, you can find me twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba every Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern Central Time. Expect more build strings. I got a big dock of squig to put together. Um, also, God. Oh, I did mention, um, I got about a, a quarter of the way through Final Fantasy X on stream. I, I think I might oh, go ahead and complete oh, that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm. Did you did you make it to Makalania yet? No, I didn't make it to Macarena Temple yet. Okay. But I, I want to know when you get there, because that's one of my favorite areas of the whole game. I, I I just got it for it, and I and I just Ooh. beat the goers. Oh, the Luca goers! They go, I guess. Go, wish the goers were goners. <laughs> Sorry, I that's me. Uh, I'm 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 still doing my weeb crap. Uh, oh, Sunday, Sunday. Uh, I'm joined by special guest uh, Pancreas No Work. Very very cool uh, Warhammer YouTuber. We're talking about how you've all been lied to. The tower, not Japanese in the slightest. I will explode your brains. That is me. Alrighty. Uh, Mark Allen Jr., where can they find you and what are you up to? You can find me uh, hijacking my co-stars uh, introductions and outros. Uh, find me on Twitter.com at Mark Allen Jr. here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming. And you can follow my sleepy fat cat bunny on Instagram at chonk for life. Uh, as I said at the start, we're sort of on a stream hiatus for now. I will let everyone know when I'm back on streams. But in the meantime, in between time, if you want to hear more of my lovely, lovely voice, uh, check out the English dub of Blue. Oh, my God, my brain just died. Blue Lock. Lock. Oh, boy. Literally right in the middle of the sentence. Check out Blue Lock. I play Kuon in the show. Please, uh, we're having a lot of fun uh, with this dub, and the show is beautiful and uh, really well made. So, uh, honored to be a part of that. Um, also, uh, it, while it is still in theaters uh, in some places for a little while longer, check out One Piece Film Red. Uh, you can hear me sprinkled throughout the background as some of the additional voices in the top grossing film in America over this past weekend. So, that's wild. Other than that, yeah, more announcements on the way soon, I hope. Um, I've got a special project in the works. Uh, I will only tease that it is music-related, and you guys might be surprised by it. And that's all I'll say for now. 
Hmm. Interesting. Alrighty. We've got Monty Glue. Where can they find you? What are you up to? Hi. Thank you guys so much for the good session. You guys were great today. I hope. I hope you oh, guys yeah. liked today's session. It was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. We it's did. It's gonna be more adventurous next session. Like I said, this is like. Yeah. I got fun things planned for the trip back, but uh, nice. uh, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Uh, tomorrow will be more Dungeon of the Mad Mage, uh, where that is a pre-written module, an official pre-written module um, that is uh, set in the Forgotten Realms. Uh, all the parts are on YouTube, but you do not have to watch uh, episodes to actually just jump in and enjoy. I have a lot of people who lurk and watch that while doing homework and stuff, which is really cool. But they are currently uh, past floor five and into floor, uh, we don't know yet, it's a question mark. Um, and it's been a blast, and you should definitely check it out. There's a lot of uh, really cool people in that, including, uh, you know, my good friend Shay, and level one Evie, and, and Zan, and, and uh, we Radley, and Bracky. Except for Bracky, I wouldn't add, you know, Bracky's kind of a huge nerd, but you know, he's there, <laughs> I guess. Um streams on Sundays are no longer a thing. I am now streaming on Monday. We're going to be doing Mario Kart until such time as I have the assets to start Mass Effect, which will be joined by Bosco here, as well as Arkolf. Um, I know surface level knowledge of Mass Effect, but not a lot, so it'll be my first time going through the series, so definitely check that out when that goes live. Um, either this week or next week, I'm not sure. We're kind of just waiting on art to be finished for it. Um, and then there will also be potentially new streams on Mondays at Monday night. So Monday might be a double double feature stream. Um, so keep your eyes peeled. There's, gonna be, there's a bit of like weird updates and transitional stuff with that. Uh, but yeah, thumbs up. All righty. Zito, where can they find you and what are you up to? Twitch.tv slash Zito, where I fucked around and found out with my chat. And now I have to play Brass <laughs> TM. Flaunt your fashion! gonna be amazing yeah it's gonna be a, it'll it'll be something all right <laughs> uh beyond that i have no other incredibly massive plans and anything i could talk about is kind of shrouded in mystery that i can't speak about right now so future mystery projects you you know just come to the stream you'll find more fucking indie games that i'll show off but that's not what i'm talking about so you'll you'll find out you You'll find out. Just go to my Twitch at twitch.tv slash Zito. Go to my Twitter at CZ Backlash. Uh, go to my uh, uh, go to my Patreon, which is Zito is Nito, to keep abreast of all the mystery things I might be working on. Alrighty. Um, Bosco, we're going to find you, and what are you up to? You can find me at twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco and at Ed Bosco VA on both Instagram and Twitter. Right on. Uh, they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, be sure to stay tuned to my Twitter because I'm going to be working on an entirely different Ranger subclass now. Yeah, don't worry. I've got an idea. It'll be funny. Trust me. Uh, and yes, uh, that I suppose is uh, all I've got for right now. Uh, yes, I'd like to thank our wonderful sponsor for this evening's escapades. As always, it's Die Hard Dice. Die Hard Listen to that quality. Dice. Listen to that quality. That is Shut right, up. and you too can have that. Sorry. Quality. <laughs> Quality. Uh, if you go to dieharddice.com and use the code UNEXPECTABLES to save 10% on your order when you shop at dieharddice.com. Christmas is coming. Wait. If you guys want to order dice, now is the time. They make fantastic gifts, I can vouch. I bought I bought dice for Shay. All of Shay's dice are, are gift dice, and it's a, it's a really nice present, honestly to get because it's very special and you know lovely order them Kringle. quick before mariah takes them all Kringle yes please approaches. Kringle approaches make sure you arm yourself with your die hard dice the other mm -hmm. reason why i recommend doing it now is before black friday happens yeah. because that's gonna gum up all the shipping and stuff so 
if you guys, not to, not to hurry you, but if you want to order stuff, like, I recommend doing it now, because, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you can place the D4s as dice caltrops to stop Santa. That is a thing you could attempt to that do. That is true. But he wears stop boots! Him. No, you'll stop him in his track. It'll slow him down mm. for just a brief They're moment. Monty, you boots. fool. Santa <laughs> has legendary resistance. Damn it, I forgot that he's actually, like, a full thing. I love that one of his legendary actions is just to eat all the cookies and drink all the milk <laughs> in yeah. one action. That's amazing. Wait, does that mean Sen is like a level 20, like, divination He's wizard? level 40. He's level 40. Oh, yeah, he's shit. Level 40. I, I don't think you understand, Gaijin. Santa is an archfey. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, wait, no, he I thought he was... Have ca he no, does not have class levels. He was raised by archfey. Yes, until yeah. he became powerful enough to become. Them. No, he got and the you... cape of immortality. That doesn't make him a fae. Bro, no, no, no. See, you're reading the wrong <laughs> scripture here. It's the fucking war that happened that so we can give him immortality. And by doing so, it was by giving the spirit of all the goblins that died and put in his soul in a fucking speed, in a way of stasis. And now the man trudges around like a fucking lich by the archfae. I remember this movie far too well. I now I, before I we go it. any further, is this conversation going to get us on the naughty list? I need to know. Oh, we're there. You, yeah, I was going to say we're there. Are there? there. Happy. We, we, we just called Santa a lich. I think we're on the naughty list now. What's this? We. Uh, the yeah, I never said guy those words. Goomba, uh, Chrisito, uh, do not necessarily <laughs> reflect those of the other cast members. Uh, I love the punch for this I motherfucker. <laughs> He's a cryptid. Yeah, he is uh, and I will fuck. I will. I will bring him to justice. Speaking of generosity, uh, during this time of year, we couldn't do this as well without our wonderful people donating business subs. Business subs. Business subs, such as uh, Tiki the Troll. Thank you for the six months, half a year. Woo. Draconian Nine. Thank you for the twenty-eight months. Uh, hey, uh, real life's been kind of rough lately. I just want to say thanks for taking my mind off of things. Hey, no worries. No problem. Uh, Volk551, thank you for getting a tier one sub to Otho Light. Uh, Volk551, thank you for the 10 months. Woo. Hulk Sonator, thank you for the 19 months of Prime. Episode title, Bring Out Your Undead. Oh, yeah, we need an episode title. Brawl Kaiser, thank you for the raid with a party of three. Hound of Twitch, thank you for the 15 months. Got a new job, and I finally have dental. Hey, Nice. Ellie Kit, thank you for the 11 months. STSTW, thank you for the 21 months of Prime Subage. Oz195, thank you for gifting five subs to the community, including to one Monty Glue. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, dang. Wait, you weren't subbed subscribed. to our own channel. What the hell, Monty? I'm like I'm so bad. I don't subscribe to a lot of things. I'm very sorry. Scrub. Uh, like to be open. No, I said sub scrub. You guys gotta fucking like hear me, Christ. Scrub. They <laughs> <laughs> called me a scrub. I was sub like, scrub. I was like said... fair, but also ow. All right. I said <laughs> sub scrub. Jesus Christ, you guys can't hear me for shit. <laughs> Apparently. Like to be a one, two, three. Thank you for the twenty rent bits. It's good to be back. Hound of Twitch. Thank you for the one thousand bits. I thank all of you for all the good that you do and all the dice I now have. <laughs> hey, Protoss one hundred three. Thank you for the fifteen bits. Ending on time. I miss Bosco going overtime. <laughs> hey, it's true. Uh, also, the, the, the our, our October, both of our October games tend to go pretty far into the overtime yeah they, uh -huh. they've got limited time though so that is true that's what that is probably special. like the hardest thing about streaming a D, D game is making sure to edit a restricted time it never happens recently yeah no it never happens <laughs> time and D, &D are, are are mortal enemies as we know uh zen leader thank you for the 100 bits episode title home wrecker yeah <laughs> that one's kind of good. I kind of like that, that one. Kind of really good. That's yeah. Pretty good. Uh, Henry oh, wow, Skeleton. <laughs> Thank you for the four bits. If I had a nickel for every time Connor's character got involved with a shape changer, you know. <laughs> I'd have two. I'd have two nickels, and that's a little more than I think. <laughs> Which, 
Which doesn't sound like that much, but it's weird that it happened twice. Twice. <laughs> uh, Bubba Bob, thank you for the uh, 500 bits. What's the story behind 21 again? It's been a while. Uh, basically, there is this, there is this uh, little, there is this, there is this little kid, and his brother, I, I think it's his brother, was was messing with him on TikTok, and he's saying, "You're stupid," and the kid's like, "No, I'm not." And the brother said, what's 9 plus 10? And the kid said, 21? And then he said, you're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and and it's just been a part of my lexicon ever since because I thought it was so funny. <laughs> uh, Callum Draws. Oh, another good one. Episode title, Rocking the Boat. Although I think... That sounds. Did we use like that already? We used that. We, one. we used that. that one already. Yeah, I like Homewrecker. That one's pretty Home good. Homewrecker's good. Although rocking the boat does fit. Uh, do, 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 do. Burnout Vaughn, they were the one thousand bits. I made a lot of stupid jokes here in chat, but I want to thank you all for the unexpectables. You've gotten me through five years of buying my first house, rekindling my love of D and D, and meeting amazing people that I cherish the opportunity to do. Thank you all. Until next October, uh, when the death pool starts again, and then all bets are off. <laughs> oh. Such a shame. As as it goes. Uh, Volk five five one. Thank you for the one hundred twenty nine bits. How about Chumkin for an axe beak name? Chumkin. Chumkin. I like backup rations for any <gasps> any mount. <laughs> Man, Emergency like... dinner. And here's me with my axe, <laughs> stupid ass fucking name. I was gonna call him Pazuzu. Oh, yeah. excellent. We'll do that next session. We'll do the hold on your name for next session. The I can't wait. Bird. Dice Ruler, think of the 100 bits. I think you guys forgot about the broom. Welp, Otho, good luck explaining with your mom about the fake relationship. They should be good. B I was going to say, do you guys... Right now. You guys had that broom. That's right. What are you doing with the magic broom no, that's alive? He's on my it's just following boat. me around. He's part of the crew now. He's got a bandana and everything. I, it's been a month. I actually, I, I, I forgot about the broom. It was I supposed also to forgot. Be you were going to give it to Ozlemir, weren't you? I think we were. Yeah, I was going to yeah. give it to Ozlemir, actually. Yeah, I'm sure Winona we, we can, can do send that. it. Yeah, we could do that. We could do that. You can do that. You could do that. <laughs> you could. He's decorating. down. He's fading. <laughs> I, I need uh, to go sweep these kids. Uh... Uh, Callum draws like be 40 bits. Do different types of holy water have different flavors? Sure. Maybe. I saw I saw in the Unexpectables Discord, which by the way, you should join the Unexpectables Discord. Uh people were posting the Oriar holy water as WD40, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> Someone told me that mine was just Gatorade. Oh my god. WD won't leave you squeaky. No, it's like protein shakes, dude, for the gains. Yeah, yeah, for, for sure. The gains. Uh, Magic Ninjago, thank you for the 100 bits. Milo's Axe Beak just happens to have the color of a sunrise. Oh, that'd be cute. Yeah. Volk551, thank you for the bit. Y'all are wrong. Santa is a high level cleric. The cleric of what? Giving. Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, he's gonna, he's, huh. list, he's gonna, checking it twice. He's gonna find out, and he's gonna find out, and he's gonna find out. <laughs> That's not cleric behavior. <laughs> Uh, Callum draws. Thank you for the 50 bits. Uh, Otho is not Molly's type. She's not really a cat person. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> uh, Killer Chansey, thank you for the 10 bits. Episode title, Dressed Out. <sighs> Dressed down by me. Uh, Bubba Bob, Bob, thank you for the 500 bits. During the break, I asked Monty and Zito how they make their maps. I think the message got swallowed, but they still answered my question. Oh. Well, there you go. Well, there you go. Macaroni. Macaroni. Sponge. That's for, like, world maps, though. Yeah. And or you can finally like, uh, fucking mark and set things on fire, which is a very Listen, extreme approach. I don't work. set things on fire. I just bake them at 240 degrees for 20 minutes. <laughs> What do your maps taste like? Vellum. Oh. Mm. Vellum. But who the hell vellum. 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 <laughs> uh, Magic Ninja. I think for the 100 bits. To clarify, the nine plus ten equals 21 meme was actually a Vine, not a TikTok. 
Yes, this was an yes, ancient predated lore. TikTok. Uh, rest in peace, Vine. You were you were ahead of your time. Magic Ninjago, thank you for the 100 additional bits. To clarify on the sunrise, I was talking about the sunrise parrot. Oh. oh. Uh. Well, now I'm insulted again. There you go. And finally, ooh, sunrise parrotfish, otherwise known as the uh, the bottlenose seat, the 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 bottle-eyed seat lolly. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and finally, we got from Bubba Bob, uh, thank you for the 100 bits, Monty. He scan gets a high enough level to learn Awaken. Will you allow him to cast it on the bucket? If I can stop That's them. not how yeah. it works. Yeah, no. If I wanted to do that, Monty could not stop me. Yeah, I, I mean, whatever happens, happens, I will do my best to facilitate whatever happens. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. And there you have it, homeboy! Alrighty. Where, who are we rating? Um... I have a uh, level one Eevee is streaming Sonic Frontiers with two people. <laughs> Shit. Let's, let's catch a Pokemon. Let's do it. Let's uh, go level... fast. Then I will uh, have level... to not join that for fear of spoilers. Spoilers? Yeah, fair enough. Uh, yeah, level one Eevee is playing Sonic Frontiers. Level one Eevee is uh, a mutual friend of a few people here, as well as and uh, in a my. Huge nerd. And a huge nerd. And also is in my uh, DD game tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, what should our raid so message much. be for level one Eevee? I mean, bottle-eyed bottle seat lolly is pretty good. <laughs> bottle-eyed seat, bottle seat lolly. I feigned madness, but it was funny as hell. Yeah. <laughs> or something simpler. Yeah, something simpler. Corset! Yeah, fast. No, no, no. What's the the, 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 the fashion thing? That, that we gotta yell. No, that we got it. That, that we have to yell because it's in all caps. Oh, flaunt, flaunt. Oh, there flaunt. we go. Flaunt. <laughs> I, flaunt. I, flaunt. Flaunt all caps. Flaunt all caps. Yeah, throw a space in between every letter. Flaunt. Oh there we go. No, no, it's 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 flaunt, and then your fashion is all lowercase. All lowercase. Yeah, guys, flaunt, and then your fashion has to be lowercase. I'm so flaunt. Your fashion. Flaunt. All right, go. Release did the crack. Did it work? Run, children. I don't uh, think it works. I don't think it works. There's a, there's a delay, too. I don't know. No, I, I'm looking at the chat. It's, it's not saying we're rating. Hold something. on. Confirming. Uh, Gonna try again. Go. Nope. Let me refresh the dashboard real fast. Hot dang. I can do it. It's broken. Uh -oh. I can do it. I can do it nine times. Oh, yeah. The dashboard updated. You want to do it? You do it. You do it, Connor. The I chat is you. so ready. Look at them. All right. Saddle up, fun, everybody. It's time to go. Flaunt! Your fashion. Do it! <laughs> God, I didn't even fucking do the stream yet, and everyone's pulling the meme out. <laughs> up! Flaunt! Up! And there we go.